Uh, we're just going to continue on our little chill stream that we had going on here. We were playing as the Timurids, for anyone who might have missed it. And uh, we had recently just annexed Afghanistan. There's a couple of pressing issues we have here. Uh, one of them is that the Ottomans are allied here. And we need to get a war declared with them as soon as possible. So we are going to be sending this over here. We want to make sure the Ottomans are fully friendshiped, right? Yep, we want them to be up as high as possible. Uh, because we want them to be as reluctant as possible to answer the call to this war. So the more reluctant they are, the better. If we take a look here... Um, Great Horde, most likely accept. Yeah, I need to get the Ottomans down here, and I'm not really sure how do I get them down. I'm actually kind of upset that the Ottomans decided to be friends with these guys, because they do hold my cores, and that's really unfortunate. So I think my be my next best target is the Uzbek, and they're in the middle of a war with Kazan. Now they're winning, and Yarkand will answer the call, but I think I'm big enough and strong enough to take them on. Do I need to unlock an idea? I think I wanted to wait to get the military deck. Hey, hey, Guajarabal. How's it going, buddy? Oh, I need to change what game I'm playing. Europa Universalis 4. I have it set to be Civ. There, that should fix that. But yeah, I'm about to get the Arquibus, which will be useful in killing Uzbek. And uh, that's going to be the best timing that I think I can find. Because if, if they hit Miltech 7 ahead of me... And then it's all over. So we're going to take this and then we're going to have better units. The Shay Banid Cavalry. So we'll take that. Uh, our units are not very heavily drilled. But we do we do almost have uh, 17 army, army professionalism, which is quite good. We are getting about how much per year? We're getting about half a point per year, which is pretty good. We can almost build supply depots, although I'm not entirely sure what they do. I did read the dev diary on them, but I don't remember what they do. Anyway. How are you? How are you, Guajarabal? Are you well, my friend? Let's check. What's our force limit? Force limit is 40 of 40. Uh, I think we have enough units to go against these guys. They have a pretty big empire. But I want to take back my cores, so let me get my, my units in position here. What kind of a cash flow am I looking at to go into full maintenance? Okay, this is going to be a relatively expensive, relatively expensive endeavor here. I'm going to bring this down to just that much. I'm going to bring this all the way up. Uh, the de declaring the war here, though, is kind of awkward for me because I have a lot of... Um, I have a lot of unrest in my empire. One of them is in Kaza, Kazarun. Yeah, over here. So there's a bit of unrest, mainly from the reassessment survey, which is going to be here for another four years. Mm. I'm going to raise autonomy there and here to just avoid that. And then the next one is in Margala. over here that's normal we're just waiting for the core to complete here right no we got a we have a core here we have a regular core so we're gonna get let time tick over here for maybe a couple of more years to bring this down um, a little bit religious unity should help overextension when we get rid of our overextension that should pretty much do the trick and then we should be good to go That'll uh, that'll be the majority. Most of Uzbek's territories in Siberia, big empire, useless territory. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much accurate. Although I do need to be careful of fighting them on the steppe terrain. Um, kind of dangerous to do that. I do remember one of these buttons does it culture group is it where's my culture groups oh there it is trade protection casability yeah 
so they're actually in my my culture group so I can I can grab them if I want um, I can't grab these guys because the Ottomans are jerks and they would accept the call to war Uh, I may as well fabricate against hormones, maybe. Maybe that would be worth my while at some point, fabricating against them. We'll see. Okay, I'll keep my units drilling, though. Having well-drilled having well drilled units is going to be useful here. We're going to stockpile cash for this upcoming war that we're going to be fighting against Uzbek. We need to declare the war before the... Um, nine, oh, 15? Oh, we have 150 years to contest these ones. Okay, I'm now enemy with Kara Kwanlulu. Do I have them as my rivals? Can I rival them? Oh, I can rival them. I'm going to rival them. And I should get the humiliate Cassus Belly on them. I would like to humiliate them. It would get me a few of these points in here, which would let me get another one of these. Um, yeah, I could, I could humiliate them. And take all their stuff. Would help with my prestige. Give me some power projection. The Ottomans would help. But I don't want to go to war and give the Ottomans land. Um, I don't want to give the Ottomans land in a war. I really need to take Ajami. I'm going to start fabricating on this little province over here. Since I have so much time on the Uzbek thing, I'm just going to get to work on fabricating on this guy. Call the Ottomans in. How many favors have we got? We have no favors. Every two years. I thought we were about the same strength. It should be every year, no? Interesting. Anyway. Estates demand... Oh, the Ulema demand control of a province. Okay. Uh, what's the hotkey here for this one? Nine. So the hotkey here. I'm going to see if I can find a nice little... Here we go. Here's a little one for the Ulema. Oh, that still wasn't enough? Well. Take, uh... We got another little crappy province somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. Now, the Dimmy... The Dimmy can't take any of the provinces. I might give some more provinces to the Merchant Guild. Because they do help out a lot here. They give trade power. Where are my trade power provinces? Yeah, I think I think I'm tempted to give them all my centers a trade. Because they would give me even more trade power, which would be really, really nice. Hello! How's your Persian Empire renovation? I'll show you now in a second. I'll zoom out and let you see it all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give give my merchant guilds these uh these high these these centers of trade. Because they're going to give me even more trade power. Wait, which one of these is the center of trade? Why can I give them this one? Is it because it's highly developed or something? Well, better better question. Why can't I give them this one? Development at least 10 and province trade power. Oh, okay. So, but I want to give them my centers of trade because they do... They give um, a 50% boost to trade power. Which is quite nice. They do hurt the autonomy. Which is, you know, kind of sucks. But. I'm back, bitch. Hey, welcome back, Cinnamon Beard. Welcome back, my dude. Oddly enough, when I showed your thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's have a look at the. Let's have a little bit of a look at the Empire. So here we are. We have spread a little bit more here to the uh, west. We would like to take over Ajami, but the Ottomans are not being agreeable to that because they allied Ajami. So we're going to have to kind of take down the Ottomans somehow. They are my ally as well. 
What I need them to do is get like caught in like a really big war. Um, get them caught in a big war, and see if we can be uh, be frenzies. Ah, Punjab. Punjab, out of curiosity, would you accept vassalization? No, I own some of your cores, so you wouldn't. That's fair. So I think I think our our plan of attacking Mushashas is perfectly res reasonable. Um, how how is the where is where is the Renaissance? Because it's it's taken its goddamn time to get over here, and it's really really frustrating. It's all the way over here. I mean, the Ottomans have it, and it's it's only taken it like twenty six years to get over here. I would really like it to be in in my territory though. That would be really really nice. Like, I mean, it's even starting to spread to Africa. We're, we're just, like, so out there that it takes forever to get to us. We do have claims over here in Delhi, but I think Delhi... Oh, Delhi is actually kind of vulnerable right now. The only thing I'm worried about is a coalition. Um, there's a little bit of aggressive expansion over here. and But, I mean, it is only two more provinces. Oh, no, it's three provinces. Yeah, that would be kind of scary. We're still waiting for our cores to come in too. How's 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 the EU going? It's actually really going really well. Our empire is huge now. We've taken taken over a big chunk of land over here. We took over a big chunk of land over here. Oh. Yeah, we took over a big chunk of land over here. We annexed a vassal. We annexed another vassal and another vassal, and we invaded India. Is Poland a Commonwealth? I think actually Poland and I think Poland got its ass kicked. And it's not even a, it's it's not in a commonwealth. Um, it's been like beaten up. You can see like random little one province miners have been spewed out by it. There's Blobhemia. Bohemia like is taking crazy amounts of Polish provinces here. Um, Brandenburg is kind of doing Brandenburg things. Austria is still kind of the same size. It does have the personal union over Hungary though. Uh, Burgundy is getting its ass smashed. I'm surprised the Ottomans haven't taken Constantinople by now. Yeah, that is a little weird. I mean, their mission is to conquer southern Greece. So that's kind of where their focus is. How many claims can I fabricate on you? I think I can fabricate on these two coastal provinces, which is reasonable. Are you? Who are you allied with? The Great Horde. I, well, if I declared war on Hormuz, I could get my territory back. But I wanted to, I wanted to declare a reconquest on these guys. Because these are the guys who directly hold my territory. Ooh, I think I have a way. Hmm, maybe. Okay, I'm going to make this into a state now that these are legitimate parts of my realm. I'm also going to core them up properly. So these are all cored up. This is all legitimate parts of my territory. Um, is there some unrest here? There's still a little bit of unrest. But for the most part, it's gone. We do have rebels spawning. These are the Punjabi separatists. And they'll take about 10 years. Uh, if you invade Delhi, will they have a counter? A Delhi counter? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. It feels like it would be cool for this style in Civ. Maybe a game with 50 city-states. India is asking for your bombs and vagine picks. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what those words mean. Oh my goodness. Are you are you being lurid? Lurid? Lude? Lurid? Lude? I do need to keep an eye on these Punjabi separatists. Uh, how could I could I bring this down? I guess if I were to debase my currency a little bit, that would technically bring this unrest down if I were to do this twice. So I water down my currency, and that gives me a bit of corruption, which will get rid of all this unrest, which means I could then declare war. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to uh, root out that corruption at a later date. But for now, we can keep this corruption. I'm going to go up to... Uh, 
I want to lose at least half a corruption a year, I think. It's kind of expensive, though. Uh, maybe we'll do a quarter of a corruption per year. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. There we go. That'll be fine. I think you, I think you could do some really interesting things uh, with like a massive city-state game in Civ. I don't really know how it would translate well. Anyway, we we have enough money now that we could purchase something. I could get a plantation. That's a lot of money for not a lot of money. Like that's a lot of money for not a lot of income. So this I don't think this is really worth our while yet. I think this needs to be above um, 0 0.5. Yeah, it, the, the increase needs to be 0 0.5 for it to be worth it relative to like these kind of things. Like these are worth building because it'll only take 50 years for the buildings to pay themselves back. I'll build in Ish, Is, Isfahan and Kabul. Um, not really any many great places to build any trade markets. Not too interested in building any docks. Do I want to build any barracks? I would actually like a barracks in Gore because that's an extra 500 manpower. 500 manpower is nothing to sniff your, sniff your nose at. You should stop your... Why, hello there. Hi, Captain Halo. You should stop your expansion on the Indus River. You don't need more poor Hinduists pooping on the streets. Well, isn't the goal to turn them into uh, up, upstanding Muslim citizens? Because right now they're Hindu. But uh, if we if we get the Sunni religion in there, we can we can make short work of them. Anyway, uh, let's see. So yeah, I think I think we're gonna work on taking over Mushasha here. Yeah, it's pretty pretty rude, I would say, Robert, <laughs> to say that kind of thing. I know the whole like Indians pooping in the street thing is like a meme, and it is like a legitimate problem that. Indian, uh, the people in India do. They, I think they even have, like, shame squads now that go around, like, um, to, like, they, they pay, like, villagers money to, like, go to their other, other villagers and say, hey, you shouldn't poop in the streets. I was reading an article about that earlier. But how did we get to this conversation? Who am I playing as? I'm playing as the Timurids. Um, I'm playing as the Timurids. I don't think we'll be able to conquer the world. I, I'm not really good enough a player to do that. I'd rather just kind of like conquer my heart, my own heart. <laughs> uh, how is our unrest? Okay, looks like all of our unrest is draining away. So I'm feeling much more comfortable about the prospect of going to war. I'm going to go up to a higher speed here to get through this part of it. Ooh, yeah, I will grab a little bit of mercantilism here. Mercantilism is just strictly good. It means we get more trade power everywhere. Although the more mercantilism you have, the less relevant each point of mercantilism is. Anyway. Moving along swiftly. So the big things we're waiting for right now is we need the Ottomans to be in a war. Um, so we're going to put the Ottomans in a war. It looks like he's gearing up for a war himself, actually, by moving over here. He's, he's drilling an army. Is he drilling this army? He's drilling both of his armies. Uh, I don't think I can really afford to be drilling both my armies right now. I was something I would like to do down the line. Okay, we have plenty of cash at the bank. We have a little bit of corruption, which hurts us a bit. But it's not the end of the world. Okay. Ah, excellent. We lose a bit of corruption. See, this is the kind of event I was hoping for. So we lose a bit of corruption and everyone around us gets a bigger opinion of me. This is going to help make my aggressive expansion go away a little bit quicker. Uh, right now, a lot of people over here, if I go to this um, outrage map mode, you can see they're pretty upset with me because I I killed some people over here and I took some land. So I want to go expand in this direction now so that these guys get angry with me. And then when I'm done with that, I'll come back this way. I kind of bounce around and see if I can kill people. What is the point of the game? I never played it. Looks like quite interesting. Well, it's a it's a sort of a strategy sandbox. You kind of basically the idea is you. Okay, some modifiers ended. Basically, the idea is that you pick a country in Europe in like the late medieval period, early, like I think late medieval period, 
and you try to lead that country to success and you, you kind of can go any way you want. So for example, you could pick France and you can try to unify France or you could pick France and then try to conquer the entire of Europe. Europe. Uh, you could pick a little Irish guy and try to take over Ireland. You could play as Spain and try to colonize the new world. We can't see America yet because we haven't explored it, but it does exist and people are setting up colonies there. Uh, Australia is down here. You can you can send colonists down there too, and sort of build colonies too, and you can conquer people. It's basically it's an empire building game essentially. That's like tries to simulate what happened, kind of not simulate but kind of simulate what happened in the real world, but it's not too concerned with simulation. Oh my goodness! Oh hell yes! So this is cottage industry. So let's look at these choices here. So the Merchant Guild would lose loyalty. That would still keep them loyal. Um, this would get me a lot of base tax. This would get me four base tax in four different provinces. And base production is very, very useful because it gets, it's a way for you to get money, but also it let, if the more base production and stuff like that, um, the more military you can have, the more money you have, the more other... Like, it just it makes your empire better. So this is a really good choice. However, there is an unrest modifier here. So let me have a look. Um, now, currently, this is minus 100 for a recent uprising. So this could potentially... So for, for 10 years, I would have a lot of unrest, but I would get a lot of production. Whereas I could do this and just get a temporary tax modifier um, and, a, and a positive thing to unro unrest. Now, the, the tax modifier is better in the short term, but in the long term, this is way better. So I'm going to take the base tax that boosted the tax in all, a lot of our base production. So that boosted me in a lot of different areas. So these guys actually insulted me over here. Okay, let's fabricate our claim. We now have 20 uh, spy Power, I believe it's called. Is it Spy Network? Whatever it's called. Uh, we can fabricate a, game, uh, a claim. So we're going to fabricate on Avas, this province right here, right here. So now if we go into our diplomatic mode, you can see this yellow crossed line. This means we have a illegitimate claim on this province and we can go to war for it. But I want to get another illegitimate claim on this province as well and go for war, go to war for it too. If you're playing as Mongols, you should go back to Tengriism instead of Islam. I don't think I'm playing as the proper Mongols. I'm playing as like a... The proper the proper Mongols are up over here somewhere. I'm playing as like the Islamized sort of descendants of the Mongols. So I don't, I don't get so much freedom in ch choosing my religion. I mean, you can switch religions, but it's really, really painful and it really hurts your empire. Um, it can be done, though. I'm tempted to build another fort because I could really use a fort over here, right, right in this province, because it would touch so many of my provinces. Um, where else could I use a fort? I could use a fort somewhere in the center here and up over here to protect. But otherwise, I'm actually kind of OK. I may even vassalize these guys. I'll think about it. So if I were to declare war on Ajam, would the Ottomans answer the call in their favor? I'm not sure if they would. Let's find out. We have to wait for our diplomat to come back from making friends with the Ottomans. All right, let's go in here and we will... What would happen if we declared war? The Ottomans would answer the call to war. God damn it. Ottomans, why are you friends with him? I hate you, Ottomans. All right, let me have a look. I think I might drill more of my army. I might drill them all together. So you guys head over there. I'll put a leader in charge of here. And I'll get him to drill. So basically what we're doing with our troops right now... How long is the game timeline? We go from 1440 to like 1830. So it's like 400 years of time, roughly. So basically what we're doing is you see this little blue bar. Um, as you drill your army with training, 
Uh, the little blue bar will fill up, which will give them an extra bonus, which can help you win wars. So that's what we're doing. We're drilling our armies right now. So we're going to combine these guys, and then we're going to drill this army as well. Never really watched EU4. Can someone give me a basic explanation of it? Sure. Um, the basic explanation of it is you are trying to manage a country and there's a lot of different buttons and mechanics you have to interact with. So for example, if I were to, like we, we have all these different map modes. So for example, this is what terrain looks like and you can see here snowy mountains. And if I click on these terrains, you can see over here, uh, there's mountains and it tells you all about what the mountains mean for the different aspects of the gameplay. So the supply limit means that there you can have plus four. Uh, you can have four troops in this province before they start to take attrition. And that supply limit is mu multiplied by a number of various other things. And attrition is another thing that is, you know, so there's all these like different interacting systems that you you touch upon. And like, I can just click around here and I could show you, here's a simplified map mode. The brown provinces are mountains. The yellow provinces are desert. Uh, these kind of brownish yellowy provinces are dry lands. Over here, we have some farmlands and grasslands. I think the blue ones are marsh. These are grasslands and farmlands look like this is farmlands up here. This is all forest. Uh, I could show you the trade map mode. And so basically how trade works is there's these like the world is broken up into these provinces and all the production and stuff that's made in a province. So this one's making gems. They all get put into this node. And then there's another number trade power that calculates how much of the goods in here do I control. So there's like all this stuff that you have to interact in with. And there's like there's buttons to press for days. It's, a, it's an amazingly fun game. I really I really I love EU4. It's a, it's a great game. Hopefully that kind of explains it. You kind of just pick it up as you watch it. Like if you just watch it for a little while, I'll try to I'll try to take an explanatory view of everything. So this is an event and uh, there's like some flavor text here. This isn't so important. The important part is when you hover over these things, um, it'll tell you what you, they do and you're often offered a choice when you're given these events. So I'll read this one just to, to show you guys. Muslims are encouraged in the Quran to take an active role in their community in order to enjoin and forbid wrong. Enjoin right and forbid, forbid wrong. While this command has been interpreted in many ways by Muslim scholars, it was sometimes used by reformist groups to justify the forceful spread of more extreme views. A group of charismatic mosque preachers in Herat have begun calling for the end of unorthodox religious practices and are inciting the populace against Sufis, leading to violence and street battles. So, our choice here is to stamp down on the movement or offer them support. Now the consequence, this is just flavor, but the consequence has real gameplay impacts. If I choose legalism, this little piety bar over here will push its way towards this legalism side of the thing. And when I'm on the legalism side, I get extra tax, I get, I get extra tax, I get extra manpower, and I get cheaper technology. When I'm over here on this left side, which is the mysticism, I get better missionaries, more uh, army morale and better defense for my fortresses. So I'm actually going to go down, since I'm pretty heavily invested into mysticism already, I'm going to go even further towards mysticism. So now that I'm at, you know, maximum mysticism. Anyway, so that's kind of like the whole game is like all these different things happening. Hey, you're in Afghanistan. You can mine and sell lapis lazuli. That's right. Invade the Arabian Peninsula. No one knows there is oil there. Sweet, sweet oil. Uh, oil won't become relevant until Vicky Victoria 3 or Victoria 2 even. New Madrasa. So we want to declare war on these guys in relatively short order. We're just waiting for a second claim. Uh, I'm going to set this to keep friends with allies. I should also, I really should make more friends, but I don't really have anyone who wants to ally me, do I? Let's check the diplomatic mode here. So who would become allies with me? Um, is there a way? I'm trying to remember how to how to use this. Okay, offer alliance. Who would who would accept an alliance? So John Poor would. I could get allied with no guy. Um, I don't want to ally people I want to kill. Shamar would probably be my ally. Could I vassalize you? No, you wouldn't accept the vassalization. 
USA's heavy breathing. <laughs> so who's who's who would be who would be friendly with me? I have quite a few choices. I could get Crimea. I think I think I might go for no guy here. So I'll wait until my wait until I finish stealing another claim here. Diplomatic insult. Ah, Austria is no longer a great power. And we lost a diplomatic insult. So you can see up here, there's eight, eight, the eight strongest countries in the world uh, rated by their development, which is how many people they have essentially, uh, divided by their technology cost is the great powers of the world. We're currently fifth in the world. Ming is China because China is huge, absolutely huge. Are the only people you can play as in Africa, Europe, and Asia? No, you can play anywhere, anyone, anywhere in the world. And you can even, um, you can even randomly generate the map and randomly generate America as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot of different things you can do in the game. So let's uh, push along here. We're waiting for a particular moment, and that's when we get 25 numbers up here. Yeah, no, you can play as anybody. You can play as anybody in the world. And pretty much every, I don't want to say every... Um, country has unique stuff about them, but almost every country in the game in the game has their own unique mechanics and special buttons they can press. But most of the systems that you're going to be interacting with are going to be pretty much the same. Okay, we converted another new province to our religion. We're trying to get our religious unity up because that's affecting. Um, you can see here we're getting national unrest, so that means we're more likely to get rebellions. We're also getting a stability cost modifier, which is reducing, uh, is increasing the cost for us to. Um, keep our nation stable and we are getting yearly corruption as well from this which is kind of making our nation more corrupt Ishafan and Kabul have quite a bit of unrest I think I'm going to send a missionary here to Ardakan because it's nice and quick 40 months so that's going to get done nice and quick here kaboom and uh That'll do the trick. We're getting more and more of this Persia trade node. I would like more of it if I could get it, but it's kind of, you know. It is what it is. Um, so let me see here. I would like more traders. If I could get more traders, that would be really nice. You have to send expeditions. How do you explore the world? Yeah, you need to make it. You need to get expeditions to explore the world. So let me check the military. So these guys are actually pretty highly militarized. They've got military seven. Now, I'm going to get this next claim here. It'll take a couple minutes. Execute the troublemakers. I. Oh my god. I can't afford to lose any. So if I were to take the stability hit here, that would severely damage my ability to. Um, to tech up and stuff right now. So I'm probably going to just eat the 200 gold here. And so there there goes 200 gold. 200 ducats even. Gold, ducats, whatever. All right, we almost have enough. But we're not even sure if we're going to be declaring this war. Because we, uh, we have things to take care of. Okay, one more month. Okay, I have a disloyal... Oh, they don't have enough... Oh, they don't have enough territory. Right. Uh, whoops. That was, that's a mistake on my part. So let me go ahead and give them another piece of territory. I will give them... I'll give them this over here. That'll make them happy. What strat am I going for? I'm just going for like a general strategy of kill everyone. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to go in here and we are going to fabricate claims. There we go. So now we're going to pull back our diplomat and see if we can get a good war going on these guys. Who are you allied with? Shirvan and Mushasha. Okay, so that should be too big of a deal to get you in on the war. Yeah, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to vassalize these guys after I kill them. So, let's have a look. All 
Okay, so you won't take this one. Oddly, but if I were to declare directly on Kara Konunlu. Interesting. Okay, so they won't. The Ottomans won't actually come into my war, which is kind of important for me here. God damn it, Ottomans. I hate you. I think the unofficial goal is to rebuild the Persian Empire. I think we were going to try and form the Mughal. The Mughal Empire. I don't know how to say it. The Mughal. M-U-G-H-A-L Empire. So that kind of puts us in a bind because we can't like we can't like reasonably declare war on these guys because no one else is going to come to my aid. Well, then I guess my best opportunity here is if I declare war on these guys for some reason and then just take the war to Ajam. So yeah, I'm probably going to go to war with uh, Hormuz here. So let me... do build a spy network with them i'll just get one claim i'll declare some like bogus claim over here and then i'll just siege down ajam to take them oh one of my generals died so i'm gonna get a new general kind of hurts me a lot to be buying generals right now but ooh. so this general has one fire four shock three maneuver and two siege i just want to say those are a lot of good things usually generals get way less than that so that's that's really good i have two Two star generals. Mughal? The, Mug the Mughal Empire. The Gulf of Oman, yet there is no Oman. Yeah, Oman was killed, sadly. Oman used to be here, but I think it was killed. Gold, ducats, dollars, blondes, brunettes, it's all the same. Hell yeah. Who needs Madagascar when you can have Hawaii? <laughs> Alright, we have a... V States Firearm Regiment. Ooh. Now this would... This would increase my army maintenance by 15%, which is actually quite a lot. But it would increase my drill, how fast my armies drill, by a lot. Right now we're drilling at about 8.3 per month. A 40% increase to that would be what? 0 0.83 multiplied by 1.4 would bring it up to 1.6 1.16 and you know what i'm not going to do it oh i could build a supply depot oh very cool so that oh, i must have unlocked that new ability when i got my militarism or my army professionalism up to 20 percent so we can now build supply depots very very cool do you want me to do the punch joke is crusader kings to eu4 victoria 3 hearts of iron 4 yeah you, some people i think you, you used to be able to do mega campaigns i don't know if if that's really supported as a gameplay style anymore i'm not going to do the state firearm regiments here god i i managed to roll an absolutely garbage leader 310 and then a 134 both of those are awful Awful, awful, awful. Alright. So we're fabricating a claim on these guys so that we can declare war on them. But we're really looking to kill these guys. Oh, the punchline joke. Wah, 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 wah. Did you know that half of Europeans are from Kenya? No, I didn't know that. This better not be dumb, I swear to God. I'd say 30% of potato streams are punchlines and bad jokes, so shoot. Wow, throwing shade, Lathuli. That's rude. <laughs> That's pretty rude. Okay, do we have any buttons we can click on? We can make a farm estate. It's kind of expensive. Yeah, I can click on some of these buttons. Uh, 0 0.9. 0 0.9 isn't really doing it for me. It needs to be a little bit higher than that. 
I don't really need sailors. I have all the trade marketplaces that I want. Yeah. Courthouse, town hall, monthly autonomy change. Ooh, that could be nice. I would actually, one feature I would like them to see maybe ex explore is instead of, instead of just like local province buildings, I'd like to see them maybe explore like region buildings, like a building that affects the entire area. I think that would be really cool. And then you could have like, so there's like these regional concepts. Where is the button? Is it in here? So you have areas, right? The world is broken up into areas and then you have regions as well, which are like big areas. So I think it would be really cool if they had like buildings that affected a region and then buildings that affected or buildings that affected an area and then buildings that affected a region. I think that would be really cool. Um, and then you could even have like a building that affects a continent or something. I don't know. It would be pretty cool. Don't like your leader. Add amphetamine from Poppy to his tea. The whole Tamerlane pick me up. Hell yeah, exactly. Although I believe we are the descendants of Tamer the Lane, which is the Timurids. Or maybe he was Timur. Timur the Lame. I don't remember. Okay, corruption is ticking away. We have a decent amount of gold stockpiled for this war. Okay, I can fabricate a claim here. This is just a bogus claim. I actually don't care. Uh, about, about their territory, because we're not going to be trying to do this. We're literally only declaring war on them because they're allied with Ajam. And Ajam have my core provinces. See these green green slashed lines? I want those. <clears throat> so we're going to be declaring war here very soon. I'm going to put my army to maximum maintenance so that their morale recovers. Timber the lane equals Tamer lane. You're exactly right. Yeah, we're the descendants of Timur. Timur! Jesus Christ, where where is this? Where is this Renaissance, man? Uh, it's only just entering into Karakon Koyulundu or whatever they're called. It's gonna take a while. Well, this is this is the best opportunity we have to go to war because if we wait any longer, these guys are gonna have Renaissance and get ahead of us in tech. So, best time now, now or never. I'll move a twenty stack over here. And this 20 stack will be holding the breach over here. Ottoman OP, yet they have done nothing. I'm actually a little bit surprised. They're only just now taking Constantinople and Southern Greece, which kind of blows my mind. All right. Ooh, I'm taking attrition in my own territory. What's my supply limit? Really, really bad. Yeah, I really need... I need supply limit 20, or supply limit... Or military tech 12. I'm going to break this army in half, I think. And let it operate as two separate armies. Because otherwise it's just going to take attrition, because there's too many men in the one place. So let's position ourselves on the border, prepared to strike at Ajam. We're also prepared to hold this crossing. You can see these little dotted lines. This is basically areas where you can cross ocean, whereas normally you can't cross ocean, but these little dotted lines mean you can cross. So the Amiris would lose some loyalty, and I would get a thingy. I think I just lose the prestige here. Prestige is nice because it makes my army better, but I'm actually kind of happy to lose it a little, little bit. Okay, let's declare the war. Now, none of my allies will join, but that's okay. I'm not, I don't need my allies. I think I can take these guys on on my own. But really what I'm, what I'm looking to do here is to take over Ajum. And there it is. They accepted the call to war. And we immediately start sieging down their provinces. Ah, so it looks like Punjab just conquered some Indian provinces. And funny enough, these are the exact Indian provinces that I have. Or that I that I want, rather. 
Don't call yourself an Ottoman Empire if you haven't conquered Constantinople yet. Exactly. I don't even know if, like, do they really even count as Ottoman? Ooh, his army has no morale. Thank you. Free morale. Although this is in mountains. But his army has no morale, so it should die pretty quick. Really? Yeah, we stack wiped him. No, we were stack wiped. What? Wait. What? How was I stack wiped? We killed his morale. Wait, that there's no way. <laughs> what? Hold on. Let's reload that auto save. What ideas would I like to see in EU4? In Civ? Um, I think the events mod. The events things, I think that's some of the best parts. Yeah, how, how did we lose this fight? We have more morale. Oh, he got the tech advantage. Shit. That shouldn't be a stack wipe, though. What the fuck? All right. Well, I guess we're recruiting another army. That that's so that's so costly for me. That's so much war exhaustion and everything. I think the the um the thing I'd like to see in Civ the most is I'd like to s I don't know. It's hard to know. I think there's a lot of really cool stuff in here in the game, so it's hard to be just like this one thing will would be the thing that I'd want to see. Um it's kind of upsetting actually. Because now I have to be careful because his army now because his army got a kill on me, he got like full morale. Uh, when some worthless guys with no morale destroy your elite units. Yeah, right? That was like, those were like my best units. I guess I, they didn't have a leader. But even so. It's not like my units are useless. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see, um, well, what would I like to see? I'm trying to think. Okay, I have six here. I want extras. One more infantry would be perfect, and then I'll be able to be ready. Uh, the events thing, I think the events thing adds a lot to the game, which is why I really like the events mod for Civ 5. Gem cutting. Ooh, faceting. Okay, so because this is on my territory, I will be the defender. Okay, one more infantry. Oh, he's actually got a cannon. That's fine. So we're going to link up here and then we're going to attack. So we have enough troops here to surround him and get really good flanks. Just goes to show you that famed reputation for Avja's military prowess is totally deserved. I mean, probably. I mean, I have way more morale than him. He does have a discipline advantage, though, and a tactics advantage, which is probably helping him a lot. We're rolling kind of poorly. We rolled really well that time. That time we rolled incredibly. Let's see if we can chase down his army. We don't want to let his army get away. Go siege down some of his provinces real quick. Okay, so that's why this army is coming from this direction, because I have my ally over here protecting. He's my vassal, rather. We need to see if we can catch him. Okay, we're going to siege down his castle. Okay, great. We're going to catch his army while he's low on population and low on morale. Fall from Heaven is amazing on Civ 4. I've never played Fall for Heaven. I've played Caveman to Cosmos before, and I love Caveman to, Cosmo Caveman to Cosmos. Okay, so we pushed him back. His army is on retreat again, so we need to look out where it's going to land. Let's move you into this. We're going to split you in half. Move you here. Where, where are you going to run to now? So 
So he's running to... This way. Oh, I can't actually chase him over there. Oh, well. Fall from head, I did a ton of modding for like 15 to 20 liters. Damn, nice. So he's going to run over here and lick his wounds. We're going to occupy all of his territories. We don't want to get this army engaged though because it's only cavalry which would be really bad for it to be engaged. But we should be able to get him under some pretty heavy occupation. Um, Yeah, I think I'm going to take the religious unity here. The religious unity, so this is our idea group. We took the humanism ideas. Religious unity is going to be great for me because I have 78% uh, religious unity, which is causing me some national unrest, stability cost, and corruption. So I'm going to take the humanism idea. It is a little bit more expensive due to corruption, but I think that's a price worth paying because now I have really good religious... Um, religious unity and a lot of this a lot of the negative modifiers i was getting for that have gone away which is really nice uh i should i should really get around to playing the fall for heaven mod i've heard about it so many times but i've just never actually played it let's move what have you got you've got two siege I'm going to move you in there to take over this siege. Okay, you're in. You can move out now. We will take a little bit of extra attrition, but we have a lot of manpower, so we're not too worried about extra attrition. And then I'm going to position you here. Oh, hey. George Gabunia. Welcome, my dude. Two point eight eight ducats per month. Civil war. So we're sieging the fortress here. We have done three modifier phase. I have played Civ four in ages. I think the last time I played Civ four was like five months ago. I think maybe three months, of, somewhere between five and three months ago. Okay, good job on capturing that. That's going to distract his army for a long time. His army is still over here, probably licking its wounds. Okay, we can take a new idea. Do I want to take the Mancar recovery speed here? I think I want to save up for military. Oh my god. That's so many years of negative tax. That's 10 years. 15 years. Of minus 20% tax. That's so brutal. I just have to eat it though. I don't have a choice. Okay, looks like they captured hormones. We do have galleys and their ships are weak right now. And they're distracted. We could catch them off guard and then trap his army over here. Uh oh, here comes his ships. Okay, we didn't catch him off guard. He had ships hiding. And they popped out and kicked my ass. Civ 3 Red Passable Mountains. Oh yeah, I forgot mountains where you could walk over mountains in Civ 3. So he's sieging down this province, but we're about to win this siege here. I'm going to move you over here to speed up the siege. Ah, Austria is no longer considered a great power. I'm going to need to move you out there. Okay, run away that way. 
You want access? You can have access. You're welcome. Five years of separatism. Yeah, I'll let them... I'll take the separatism. Okay, we can send a... Um, send a missionary here. Does Margala already have unrest? No. But we will send one there for against the Hindis. Man, the Vokasus was really putting his back into it a few seconds ago. Yeah. <laughs> hey, George Gabunia. I don't know if I already said hello to you. I Sometimes I forget. So this province should fall this turn. We have a 50-50 chance of taking it when this little pie chart fills. Okay. We rolled poorly. We rolled a four. We need to roll a six or higher. Merchant guilds. Okay, these are nice modifiers going away. Okay, the Ulema gains influence. Sought support has expired. My units, I think I just rolled a really bad siege phase over here. Yeah, disease outbreak. Ouch. Disease, a disease outbreak is basically where you're... Um, it's basically when you roll a one. It's like a critical failure on a siege. And you lose like a certain percentage of your men to disease. Really painful. Uh, cost me about 750 men, which are going to have to be reinforced. I have plenty of manpower though. There's a mechanic that could be really cool for Civ. Manpower. What if you're, um, how many soldiers you could support was tied to your population or something? And, like, it would go up later in the game or something. That could be cool. Manpower. Like, a lot of these things could be useful. Uh, like, stability, corruption, prestige, uh, power, power projection. Like, you could take any one of these mechanics and put it into civilization. And I think it could potentially make the game better. Is that my... Is that my king? No, it's not. No. That's kind of how unit limits works? Yeah. We don't want to take the full negative modifier here. What we're going to do is we're going to get a 20 stack. What have you... What's your... What's your combat bonuses? All right, I need a fourth cavalry here. So I'll take a fourth cavalry. He has 12 units. How many of them are cannons? He's 12 units, one of them are cannons, so I need 13 infantry. I have currently not that many. No, sorry, I need 11 infantry. Yes, I need 11 infantry. So that means I need another five. One, two, three, four, five. And then when I combine these armies, I'll have enough to be able to get a full flank on this guy. There are JFD mods for prestige, prestige and corruption. Ooh, I'll have to check those ones out. Are they for Civ 5 or for Civ 6? I have to assume Civ 5. Because Civ 5 is a more mature game. Okay, we have a full flank on him. Now he does have a tech advantage here. But we have a full flank. We're doing damage extra damage but he may still beat us because of these uh modifiers here but we have reinforcements coming in okay let's slow down here and have a look so we rolled a zero he rolled a one but we have negative so it's still worse for us okay shock we rolled a seven minus three he rolled a four he got a nine ouch yeah we're taking a lot of hits here okay this time we rolled well he rolled a zero we rolled a seven that's a net of a four yeah, I'm really amazed they still haven't given out the DLL for Civ 6. Do you think it's like a management thing? Like they're afraid that people are going to make mods that are better than the DLC and people won't want to buy the DLC? Or do you think it's like a... Um, is it like a... Like do they want to give that DLL access? I think I read an interview or something where they mentioned it. Like do they want to give it or are they just reluctant to? I don't know. Anyway, let's get this guy out of here. So it looks like he's retreating to here. I'm just going to pile in all of my troops onto this territory. Lawyers, same as Civ 5. Yeah. So 
they're just trying to protect the um, the game's integrity or whatever. Okay, so we completely wiped out his army. Which is good, because now we can divert this army to go deal with this guy over here who's sieging down my province. We have this guy completely sieged. So let's talk to Ajam. Now it is going to cost me diplomatic points to get some of these provinces back. But they are my provinces. They belong to me, damn it. Take as many of them as I can. Give me all your money too. And war reparations. Okay, so I'm going to piece out this guy. I'm going to get all my territory back. A big chunk of it. This is all going to switch to me. So we just got a bunch of our territory for, you know, it was it was expensive, but we got it back. The IP, the ability to make money with new expansions, etc. Yeah, that's what I thought. So do you think it'll probably be like once the game is matured and, you know, quote unquote finished, they'll be more willing to give up the, the, um, the DLL because they're not expecting to make any more um, financial return from it. So they don't, so they think that like the financial, like the incentive for the financial return is to have more people playing the game. Um, which means, you know, modding is sort of the thing that you want to have happening then. Because I, I think, I, I think, what I think it is, I think the developers themselves, like, obviously, I think they want modders to be a part of the community and they want to give the modding power to the community. Like, I don't think you could, like, look at the the developers, like the, you know, Ed, uh, is it Ed? Beach? Ed Beach and all those guys. I can't remember who exactly are on the dev team. I can't remember all their names. But like those guys obviously really care about the game and really want to see it improved. But um So I can't imagine them being them being the reason they don't want to give um up the DLL. Like because I feel like they I think they would see it. I mean maybe I'm I could be wrong though. But I, I that's just kinda of like the sense I got from them. Okay, we're going to attack here with my full stack. Uh, before we hit, actually, I'm going to shift consolidate so that my armies have full power on the front line. Oh, he got the siege off. That's so painful because now we're taking the negative penalty. Um, we're going to have to quarantine the port here, which kind of hurts because if you don't do this, this uh, influenza can spread all over your country. So we're going to quarantine the port. But yeah, I don't know. I didn't get like I didn't get the impression that they would want to lock down the game. So I have to assume that it's coming from like um, a non sort of developer part of the company. That's like my and now that could be just like me being presumptuous and like assigning qualities and ideas to people who maybe they don't they don't actually have those ones. I don't know. Okay, the good news is we are going to be able to trap his fleet. Uh, rather, we're going to be able to trap his army because he never took control of this. It will cost us some boats, however. Okay, let's go blockade. Are you kidding me? I can't get around my own goddamn fort. The fort's empty. There's nobody in it. Just kill it. Okay, retreat boats. Where the hell do they think they're going over here? Yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is, I didn't get the impression that the uh, they want to hide the DLL. Like, Mamluks, who are you at war with? 
Mushasha, Korokunlu, and Karabakh. I hope they do have DLC planned and not just more leader packs. I think um, Ed Beach was in an interview recently and he did say that they were going to do more like traditional DLC. I don't think that's not a direct quote and I don't think he said that word for word, but he kind of heavily implied that they were going to do bigger, um, more traditional stuff. This goddamn fort here is breaking my goddamn heart. Okay, a lot of this stuff doesn't matter. God damn it, why are you influencing Ajam? These guys super don't trust me. In the Civ 6 official website, it states that the next Civ will be from Africa. Cool. I don't know. I didn't I didn't read that anywhere. I'll have to check that out. Okay, we're waiting for... We're waiting for this fort to be taken, really. So that we can start actually attacking this guy. Would he white piece? He won't white piece me. Um, I'd like to get war reparations off him. Yeah, he has Miltech 7, which hurts a lot. This um this leader is crippling me in terms of military. He's crippling me in terms of monarch powers just in general. This is horrific. Okay, let's go up to a higher speed here. Um so Ramadan, I think we are gonna move towards um I think we're gonna just take the move towards legalism. It's not a big deal. I don't want to lose prestige. Prestige is kind of a precious resource. So it looks like he's trying to sneak around here somewhere. I think he's just trying to siege down my provinces and give me war exhaustion. What I want to do is I want to stack wipe him. Okay, Maliki relation with Hanafi becomes hate. So that has to do with the religious schools of thought relationships. Are you gonna, like, peace out here? What are you even doing? He's just, like, trying to randomly conquer pieces of land. Come on, capture that fortress, goddammit. Okay, we're going to lose a lot of troops because of this. But we're going to wait until he's crossing. Wait, he like jumped. He jumped so fast across that crossing. That kind of blew my mind. He like super jumped there. I didn't even get a chance to block him. That's annoying. Oh, well. Even so, I just want white peace. I got everything I wanted out of this war. I can't believe he, he got this. He got the siege off like two days before my army arrived to destroy him. And it like just cost me thousands and thousands and thousands of manpower because of it. It's absolutely brutal. Okay, he'll take white piece now. Yeah, look at that. He killed so much manpower. But that's fine. Uh, let's drill. Do we have any provinces with Timurid Particulists? So that's Mash Mashad over here. So I'm going to send an army over there to train there. And we have another one in Ishafan. Is it if Ifsha? Where's this province? 
if is Fahan. Over there. So I'll send this army to go train there. And uh, the reason I'm sending those armies to those provinces is so that they'll like uh, train in those provinces. Which will, the presence of a military unit will lower the revolt risk, essentially. So, let's lower maintenance here, save a bit of money. And then we'll start drilling. There's the drilling. Okay, so this will reduce my national unrest and move me towards mysticism. Okay. Alliance offer from no guy. Uh, I think I will take an alliance offer from no guy. Oh my god, you're occupied by Uzbek pretenders. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to make friends with no guy. Ottomans aren't really at war. Looks like they've consolidated. Looks like they've taken over Constantinople, finally. And they'll probably rename it to... Uh, um, God damn it, what's it called? <laughs> uh, Istanbul. Okay, I want you to be drilling as well. That, um, that tax modifier that I got hit with is really, really painful. I don't think I can afford to drill both of my armies. Yeah, I can't. So I'm, gonna, I'm only going to drill one of my armies. I may as well have my maintenance up a little bit to uh, reduce the unrest rate. I could get diplomatic tech, but I don't think I want to get diplo tech yet. I'm going to wait for the renaissance here. Um, it's just way too expensive. It's just way, way, way too expensive to get tech right now. So this is the particularists. Let's have a look. So how many years until they raise up? It's going to be three-ish years, and this goes away in two-ish years. So I'm just going to go up to full maintenance and hope that that buys me enough time. That should work for me. Um, but now we have to kind of go into turtle mode for a little bit because we're waiting. Uh, can I afford to lose 10% loyalty? Yeah, I think I can afford to do this. I want to get more. I want to get more army professionalism. Army professionalism is pretty important to me. Getting uh, getting some of these things. For example, uh, conscription army is good. So is permanent army. Uh, but the most important one here is uh, professional army. We want to get it all the way up to there. So I'm going to let the Amirs lose loyalty for a few months, probably about eight months or something. We'll gain a bit of professionalism. We will also get some unrest, which, you know, isn't ideal. But it should be fine. Yeah, they're a little bit disloyal, but they will be they'll be they'll be loyal again in about six months. Okay, local goods gone down. So I'm just going to stockpile Monarch points for a while and kind of uh, play inter the internal game. Oh man, why are you guys taking attrition? Is there a bigger province around here somewhere? Here. Oh, you have to be here, don't you? Um, what if I dropped this in here? Would that give you more supply? How much more do you need? It's the mild winter. If I were to drop another production in here, would that do the trick? Nope. Didn't quite do it. Oh well.
Convert the Heretics of Margala. Curiously, can you exploit the territory of non-core? So we have a little bit of core territory left. Um, we do need to declare war for these. We have until November 19, 1594. So we have about 100 years before we need to really declare to get those cores. Okay. We're burning cash right now. The young can serve. Ugh. I, d I can't really afford to lose that much money. I'm kind of okay with losing the army professionalism. I'll let them, I'll let them do that thing man we are just not getting an oh are we are we getting some of the renaissance come on renaissance where are you oh it's got to spread through these crappy countries <laughs> that are in the way man oh it's spreading so slowly though it's so painful it's going to take a long time to get to us Uh, let's see, go towards legalism. We would lose money, we would gain prestige, or we could move towards mysticism. Stability cost modifier would be nice, but I, again, I can't afford to lose this money, so I'm going to move towards mysticism again. I could gain a chunk of manpower here, which would be nice. I don't think I'll do that, though. I'm still in the process of doing a lot of conversions. So I'm happy to stay at high uh, mysticism. Ugh, lose a stability or lose legitimacy? I think I think we can afford to lose legitimacy here. As painful as it is for our unrest, I just cannot afford to lose stability right now. I have so little in terms of monarch power anyway. Ugh, we're almost taking a full penalty from the Renaissance, man. Yeah, I think I think I'm probably gonna wait. Great advisor, my theologian died. Oh, that's actually really bad. Let's lose some corruption. Uh, the theolo the theologian dying is actually really bad for me. I need to get. Yeah, I need oh a skill three one. I really don't want to skill 3 1. I could employ him for a little while. And it would help with this unrest problem. Yeah, I think I'm going to employ this guy for a little while. Just to bring my unrest down to a re reasonable level. I'm going to debase my currency to raise, um, to lower my unrest. And then I'm going to stop drilling this army to save money. And that should significantly change uh, the outlook of my in income. So we're still pretty hard. I'm going to stay uh, on mysticism. Okay. We're basically, we're waiting for the Renaissance, essentially. We're kind of biding our time. Okay, idea cost. Well, that means it would make sense here. I'm going to take local traditions here. This is a really important idea it's going to reduce the unrest and right now i'm suffering pretty bad the timurid particulists are about to go are about to pop off here so if i take this unrest idea that would save me save me a lot of hassle yeah now they only have a small percent chance to actually trigger 
Okay. Man, losing losing legitimacy was brutal. Uh, you know what I might do? I might strengthen my government a little bit here. To bring the unrest down a bit. It costs me some military power, but it does it does help a lot. There's some new provinces that are worth building these buildings in for 12 ducats, but I'm holding on to my money now for a little bit. Great power. What's my status as a great power? My great power status is still pretty steady. I should be I should be fourth, but um, I'm taking a penalty, attack penalty, which is really, really painful, to be honest. Okay, we lost an advisor. Let's grab another one. I'll take the discipline guy. So much poop. Good man. Welcome back, Captain Halo. And Cinnamon Beard. Okay, we can invest in new technology. I don't think I'm ready to invest in Diplo. Ah, oh, man, I'm really behind, though. Yeah, we're falling behind the world over here because we don't have the Renaissance. Really, the one that worries me is military tech, so I, I kind of have to take mil tech. But these other ones I can delay a little bit. Even if it does hurt my relationship with my uh, my vassal. Um, do you think it's worth it to get a national epic here? It would get me a good chunk of prestige. And it's fairly cheap. It would last for 20 years of plus one prestige. I think that's worth it. 10 admin power and 37 ducats. I'll take that deal. Keep my prestige nice and high. Prestige is nice because it makes your army better. Oh, not you, the dog. Oh, your dog is pooping. Tell him to stop doing that. Uh, can we go to war? We could go to war. Okay, you're involved in a really deep war. No, it's kind of a crappy war, actually. Never mind. Do we want to take out Punjab here? Who are you allied with, Punjab? Punjab is allied with Jean, Jean, Jean Pur. How do they feel about me right now? So most of my aggressive expansion has drained away. So let's move our army over there. Uh, let's split this in half. And split this in half. And let them move on their own. Space them out. Because otherwise you take attrition moving through your territory. If you move, if your armies are too big when you're moving them. Um, and you don't have enough supply limit. It, um, you know, gets pain. It, you, you lose some of them to attrition. Give in to peer pressure? What? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Lasuli, take it easy, okay? Okay, looks like peasants rose up in my vassal's land. I'm going to help them deal with that. The question is, does Punjab have Tech 7? And it does. So we want to wait for Tech 7 before we declare this war. Okay, we'll take a royal marriage offer from no guy. And we'll move over here. It hurts so bad to take a, a mil tech at that price, but I, I feel like I have to. If I don't have a mil tech uh, here going to war, I'm going to lose too many men in the fight. I could hire more men, but it's only two, so I'm not too worried about it. How long until we have this? Ugh, it's probably not until we're taking the full penalty. That hurts so much. Uh, I think I'm just going to gain five prestige here. 
Thank you. Free five prestige. You can now invest in an idea. No, I want the tech. I need the I need the artillery fire and mainly the the important thing here is the military tactics. Oh holy shit! Um, gaining a stability here would be amazing, actually. If I boost and then take the stability, I could get up to two stability, which would be amazing. Um, I could also take the prestige here. What would happen if I took the prestige? That would be such a huge boost. It would make it much cheaper for me to embrace the institution later. I think I'm going to take the stability. I'm going to boost and then take a stability. So now I'm up to another minus two on rest. And I'm getting a plus 10% national tax modifier and another missionary strength and a yearly corruption modifier. All really good things. Um, and my missionary works faster, which is great. Okay, another reform acted by the Holy Roman Emperor. He did the Reich's Regiment. Let's have a look at the HRE. How are you doing? There's Bohemia going on over here. You lost the Northern Italians. Looks like there's a fight to unify Italy going on over here. The Pope is still knocking around. Anything interesting? So France has finally kicked uh, England mostly out of... Um, mostly out of france there's only a couple of provinces left that england owns england has started to eat up scotland uh, leinster has actually started to unify ireland interestingly enough there's only a couple of provinces left now tyrone is england's vassal so that'll be a hurdle for leinster to take over wait what is going on in here why does nevers have a province in here <laughs> what anything else interesting happening oh it actually looks like portugal lost a couple of wars over here portugal used to own more yeah, look. Ah, Portugal lost its its course. Tunisia. The Mamluks are getting eaten by the Ottomans. Ottomans, what is your... Um... So your ambitions are pretty pretty slim and normal. So there's still a few provinces here that I need to take back. Yeah, these ones and this. That'll be a unified Iran, finally, at long last. Okay, these guys over here no longer consider me their rival. That's fine. Okay, a few more months here and then we'll be able to get this military tech. Oh, it really hurts to take it here, but we need it. I think we need it for the war. Uh, do I want to take an extra province here? Maybe I'll maybe I'll actually take Punjab as well. So let's get a spy network going. How much do I need to take another claim? Uh, I'll need a 35 to get a claim. Uh, maybe I'll just take the regular claims. I could use more vassals. Okay, we converted another province. We're going to convert yet another one. Okay, we're going to take military tech. We're going to pull back our diplomat. And then we're going to declare the war in a few days. This will be an easy war. And we'll be taking Lahore. Uh, John Poor will agree... This is too far away. Distant war. So let's get the... So there is a fortress. Where's my fort map mode? Okay, so there's just forts. Just a few normal forts. Uh, let's get the two siege guy going here. One siege guy going here. We'll conquer these forts. Ah, he has a little army over here. 
Have a little army. The Siege of Derajat. Oh, I guess there wasn't a fort here. Oh, it wasn't being maintained. Oh, wrecked. <laughs> they did. They had a fort here, but they weren't maintaining it, so I managed to conquer this province instantly. That's actually really useful. It's going to make this war way easier. We'll move our army over here. And uh, see if we can capture this province. Oh, I guess I can't go here. I'm blocked by a fort or something. I can't get him. You guys will stand here, though, because this blocks off the uh, Jeanpur from reinforcing. Okay, we're about to siege this down. Okay, so... I think we'll just do... I don't think there's any way this is worth it. Uh, I think I'll just move a little bit towards legalism. I could gain some prestige here. That would help with embracing the uh, institution down the road. It'd save me a bit of cash. Thinking, hello Morbus. Uh, friend in need. Do we need aid? I think we'll just take the prestige here. And then we'll move along. Naval ambitions. So what's going on here? Uh, a subject of ours holds lands to which we have a claim. Who? Sure, I'll take the province. Give me Kokand. I just got one of my core provinces back for free, essentially. It upset my vassal a little bit, but who cares about them? Okay, we'll improve relation with them. You're not doing anything, so I'm going to get you to build a spy network with Hormuz. Because we're going to want to conquer these guys at some point. Uh, we're going to need a bigger... We're going to be, need a bigger navy here to do that, actually, at some point as well. So there's a lot we need to do before we can really pull that off. Oh, can we get here and help in time? No, there's no way we get there in time. My ally is just taking damage for no reason. I care about them. No, you don't. Don't lie. Okay. We have a big, huge battle going on. Did my leader leave? My leader left at the start of the battle. That's brutal. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, we rolled a four. Okay, we rolled a two, but he rolled a two as well. Let's get our leader over there. Okay, we rolled a seven, he rolled a three. We rolled a seven, he rolled a three. We rolled a nine, he rolled a six. Nice, nice, nice. We smashed him wide open. Okay, a new Amir al Hajj. So, your choice of Amir al Hajj will have effect on both the success rate of the Hajj caravans of your people as well as the type of impact any problems with the Hajj will have. A Bedouin Am Amir al Hajj will be able to protect the caravans from dangers that none of the op other options will. 
So this will give me extra manpower. It'll hurt my prestige, but it will protect them. So a skilled warrior would cost me some... Let's see. A warrior will have a good chance of defending the caravan if it's attacked, but he also may cause unnecessary conflicts through the lack of tact. But this will cost me military power and give me prestige. And this one... Um, your choice of Amir al-Hajj will have an effective choice. A diplomat will be more efficient when your country is at peace and less so when you're at war. Sable, three rondel ghouls, that's your coat of arms. What? <laughs> what are you even talking about? Uh, a skilled warrior. I think, I think I'll take the... How many years is that? That's 30 years of 0 0.5 prestige. I'm going to take that one because we do want to keep our prestige nice and high. Um, for embracing the renaissance that's going to happen here soon. It's coming. I know I've been... I know I've been saying that a while, but the renaissance is almost here. A little... little the blobisance. It's still spreading to these guys, which are, you know, painfully slow at adopting it. But it is technically almost here. Technically. Oh, man, that's really painful. Still waiting for that renaissance. Although I think I did some building in my capital, so my capital has a bit of renaissance. Um, but it's paused. So let me have a look. Uh, I think we want to protect our trade here, yeah. We'll protect our trade. I just prefer that modifier than the alternative. Uh, you're taking attrition there. You shouldn't be taking attrition. I need to recruit a leader. Spending even more military power, which hurts me a lot. What kind of terrain is this? This is hills. So this would be painful to attack into. But, if we get into it, we can siege it down pretty quick. Oh shoot, we need to go support our ally. We need to make sure none of our armies get caught out though. Okay, go siege that down. Okay, we converted another province. That's really good. Let's keep converting. We need to get the uh, we need to get our religion in place. I just noticed that my dog was sleeping on top of my clean laundry. Now I have to wash my clothes again. Ah, oh, come on, your dog's not that dirty, is he? Oh, it probably smells like dog though. <laughs> oh, the poor pupper. So he won't he won't accept peace right now. Let me. Cancel this improved relations. The Ming insulted us. Okay, I could fight him at advantage here in the farmlands. Let me pull everyone away. With the exception of one cavalry. This one cavalry will be used to transfer the leader to this stack. If I combine these and then pull a cavalry off, that means I've transferred the leader over. Oh, some rebels spawned in my in my vassal. Yeah, we want to fight this guy. So we're going to take our three stacks and go, go to the fight. Wait, how am I black flagged? How am I black flagged? What? 
That's nuts. Okay, I want the I want the provinces that I want. You're not ready to give them to me. I think I lost access to this guy or something. So now I have to go some like, crazy way around. Um, go this way. This game is all UI, basically. Yeah, I mean, is, isn't that like most games? There's gameplay happening, but a lot of it happens in like sub menus and stuff. And you're making decisions about um, how to organize your empire. Okay, we'll combine these guys. Uh, just for the sake of checking. Is it worth my while to look at these ideas? Tolerance of heretics would be really nice. Um, it would help a lot with my unrest. And I don't spe in intend on going into admin tech here for a while. And I'm not ahead of... I'm not really behind anyone. So I'm going to spend a little bit here. Particularly if I could get to these years of separatism thing. That would be amazing. So we'll put a little bit more in there. We got the plus one yearly prestige. I would like to get the... Uh, I really want this. The cavalry combat ability. That would be amazing if I could get it. If this was Twitch, I'd have a few choice emotes. Well, we actually, we can have uh, two emotes right now. I just, I have to contact the artist and get them to make them. Uh, so we will have emotes soon. Um, I just, you know, I'm, ooh, we get two base production in FASA. It's over here. Just two random base production. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, we do. We do actually have the ability to have two emotes right now. I just haven't. Ha I haven't gotten them made. Is the problem? That's like. That's all. But we will get them made. Um, I've emailed. I've emailed a couple. I've emailed an artist, and I'm waiting to to hear back from them. Okay, royal marriage from Coruscant, that's fine, I'll take that. I'm not ready to kill you, so we'll be royally married. Peace offer. Okay, that sounds good to me. Um, oh, why would you do that to me? Why would you attack the only province... Where they're actually stronger than us. So I'm going to actually start moving away from mysticism now. And I'm going to start moving towards legalism. Because I have humanist ideas, converting people isn't so important anymore. So we have two really big armies facing off. This is pretty much a guaranteed win. I'm not worried about this. This isn't a close fight at all. Yeah, there we go. So I'm hoping to extract a little bit more blood out of our enemy here. Uh, once we siege this castle down. Resident sleeper for one at menu fest. What will the emotes be? Uh, it's a secret for now. I'll give you I'll give you hints though. Um, one of them involves a towel. Don't forget to bring your towel. Okay, if we can get this siege down, then I'll piece them out. I just want to extract a little bit more value out of this war uh, in terms of peace. I want to get more money out of him because he cost me money here. I think I can actually fire this guy now. My national unrest should be at a point where I can give him the old boodaroo. I will get some unrest from it. But it's fine. And we can take someone else more reasonable like this missionary strength guy. He's like a, a far, far cheaper. Are you kidding me? You didn't roll for a, a win? A potato? No, it won't be a potato. It will, in, it will involve a potato. 
<laughs> a potato and a towel. <laughs> and a masher. Um, well, if, if you guys have ideas for emotes as well, I'm, I'm going to get three emotes made. I don't know what the third one's going to be, though. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. I'm going to talk only to you. I want war reparations. I want war reparations. And can I transfer a vassal? No, I can't vassalize him. He's too big. Uh, Miwa, Nagwar. What I will get you to do, give me all of the money. And then I want you to end your rivalry with someone. How many points is that over? A couple? I'll take a little bit less money for the prestige. Oh, that's a lot less money though. No, nope, I'll take the money. And a, and a tiny chunk of prestige. Yeah, I'll take the money and a little bit of prestige. I'll end your friendship with Punjab. So, I get some money. Uh, I end his relationship with Punjab. And I get um, war reparations. So that's nice. And then we're going to negotiate peace with this guy. We'll have to wait 16 days. I can start bringing my army back, though. Why would you go that way? Clearly, I want you to go that way. So six days until our diplomat comes back and we can negotiate peace. There we go. Uh, I don't want this province. We're going to take a lot of ag aggressive expansion here. But that's fine. I want all your money. I want war reparations. Be a two a, a two country coalition would be fine. So we took those provinces. Very good. We got the riches of India. That was our mission. Which will give us trade efficiency and morale of armies for a while. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the cash to... Uh, or we don't have the admin points to core this land. But that's okay. We made a bunch of cash. We do have a lot of inflation right now. Well, 2% 2 isn't too much. But it's a decent little chunk. Oh man, the conquest of Delhi. Ooh, that would be 400 admin points if I conquered Delhi. We have a lot of coalition problems here though, so we need to take our time if we're going to do that. Yeah, look at this. A lot of these, are a lot of these guys are upset with me. Because I've been conquering so much land. So we do need to be uh we do need to be a little bit careful here. What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna take the mission. Because it gets us closer to forming the um It gets us closer to forming the Mo Mo Mughal Empire. Let's see here. This would give us a permanent claim. Permanent claims everywhere. A lot of prestige. Our unit types tape change to Indian. And the new traditions and ambitions would change. We would lose our cores. So I don't know if we want to become the Mughals. But we can. Watch out for the Delhi counter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You've already made that joke today. You doesn't, you're not allowed to do that again. That joke is only allowed once a day. We are gaining corruption, so I will spend money to make sure that's not happening. I'll keep it at neutral. I'll bring it down by four per year. Okay, let's have a look at the unrest here. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise autonomy in these three provinces to keep them nice and happy. How many years of separatism is there in here? 25 years just just over just over 25 years rude you're rude you're making the same joke twice what's wrong with you 
Are you gonna deal with this guy? He's like conquering your shit, dude. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not taking any more tech until I have the Renaissance. It's too painful. The tech penalty is too brutal. 50%. I just can't I can't justify taking a tech here, especially when it's so close. So let me see here. Increased demand for satin. We should step in to limit any excesses. So this would give me local goods produced trade modifier. So this would be potentially better, but it has a negative consequence. I'm gonna say limit. Okay, I'm gonna to move towards uh, legalism here. As much as it's gonna hurt me to uh, lose some prestige, I'm gonna to move towards legalism. I think we made the decision. Now that we have humanism ideas, we're better off being in uh, in legalism. Listen to those Timurid electric guitars rocking out. Hell yeah, man! The music in this game is absolutely amazing. It's some of the. It's probably one of the best parts of the game. So where my where's my unrest in Tun? Actually, I'm gonna start drilling these armies. will be quite nice to drill. I need to start coring this land. I'll get the first core going because it's causing me unrest and corruption and stuff. So drill. We're kind of stretching ourselves thin, but we needed to do something while we waited for, uh, for Renaissance, really. That's kind of what we're doing right now. We're kind of in this really kind of waiting formation where we need to get the... Uh, Ah, our advisor died. Uh, I think we'll just grab improve relations. Seems reasonable. Drill these armies. Okay. The drilling of the armies will give us army professionalism. Uh, but, but just under 1% a year, actually. If I got a couple of more units in those, I could get, I could get up to 1% a year. Or 20% professionalism. Ah, diplomatic insult. So I'm going to take I'm going to take positive relations here because I believe the higher your relations are, the faster aggressive expans aggressive expansion goes away. And there's a few people over here upset with me, particularly these guys. So yeah, I need uh, I need that to go away. So I'm going to take the friendship. Uh, hormones. Okay. Who are you allied with? You're allied with just Ajam. So I think part of my plan here to take out these guys is going to involve building up a navy of, of galleys. Of a lot of galleys. Now, compared to a bark, they're not as good. Oh no, they're actually better. Oh, galleys are way better. Yeah, I'm going to use a lot of galleys here. So let me get four more galleys. Um, would anyone be willing to buy these cogs off me, maybe? Who could I sell them to? Sind. So you want to buy ships as well. How much? What if I could sell you one ship here? Would you buy a ship? Oh no, I didn't want to sell for a thousand. Jesus Christ, I want to sell for like ten. Okay, would you buy two ships for twenty? Uh, two cogs. Sell ships? Would you buy two ships? 
price. Would you take three ships for 20? Let's get this, uh, see if we can get this to happen. One, two, three. Yes, he'll buy three ships for 20. Okay, that's three ships sold. And now we can build more galleys. I want, how many galleys do I want? I want seven galleys. So... There we go. We're up to our force limit now. It'll take a while for those galleys to come, but we need these galleys to try and fight over this uh, this gulf here because he has a bigger navy. Okay, we've been paused for a while. Let's unpause. We kind of fiddled about with things. A little bit of micromanagement that's happening. So how are you doing? Okay, I'm drilling these troops. Oh, these troops actually like lost all of their drill. I thought I had drilled these guys at least a, a little bit, but I guess I was wrong. I guess all the attrition bled them out. We have really good manpower. I'm really happy about that. Ooh, the shock damage here would be amazing. Oh man, we already have really good separatism actually. So humanism was definitely a good move for us. Getting now an extra 10 years of separatism reduction means that when we conquer a province, it only has separatism for 15 years, which is half the baseline. That's incredible. Considering separatism is like usually the, the biggest barrier that you'll face when you're conquering. Um, when it comes to unrest and revolts and stuff. Okay, we're going to core Doaba. Bring this overextension down. These are really high development provinces that we took over. We need to get core creation costs down if we can. Where do we get that? Is it from... Admin ideas, aristocratic, army tradition. Monthly autonomy would be quite nice. Okay, we converted another province. Really, really nice. Let's convert another one. Right there. Naval ambition. Uh, again, I don't want to take any text here. It's just, it's too, it's too painful. It's too painful without this institution. It's going to take a hell of a long time to get over here, though. All right, let's claim some territory off these guys. Can I ask you to break an alliance? No, you won't do it because you're a great power. Ah, okay. So we're going to have to do the kind of the sneaky thing again. We'll declare war on hormones, but we'll really be going after Ajam. But this time, I'll at least have some claims in here to take over. We'll have to take it nice and slow, though. We get our naval ambitions going. The Ottomans are conquering even more territory. That's kind of scary. Ah, look at that. One of my one of my generals got upgraded from training my troops. He's now a two fire skill, four shock, three maneuver, two siege. So he got an extra fire pip. That's pretty good. I mean, he was already really amazing, but an extra pip. Hell yeah. I take an extra pip. Pip pip cheerio. We could build some buildings. Is there anywhere worthwhile? Up here is reasonable. 0.12 ducats is usually a good idea to build a building. Um, Fasa is reasonable. I'll build, I'll build a couple of these. 0.12. That'll net me a bit of a, a bit of income here next year. It's all about that efficiency, you know? I thought I'd drill these guys. Capra Pride. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Oh my goodness. Twitch chat is invading. Twitch chat used to be amazing. And now it's all just like... That's what I think. I think like... It used to be fun when it was just like... Um... When it was... You were reacting with how you felt and you weren't just reacting with like these overplayed jokes. That was when I liked Twitch chat. Um, now it just seems like you're always... You see the same jokes just again and again. Whereas it was way more... It was way more fun for me when it was like... When something cool happened, people would do like PogChamp, you know? I mean, people still do PogChamp, but you know what I mean. We're still in the Age of Discovery. France got a golden era. We have yet to get a single Splendor thing. Which, uh, we didn't really, we didn't really prioritize these things at all, so... It's pretty expected that this didn't happen. Feudal de jure law would be really nice. Minus five unrest is really, really powerful. I've never, I've never actually really uh, played around with the Age of Discovery stuff. Uh, I'm wondering when the next institution is going to appear. Have the province modifier coastal center trade. Province on where have quest of the new world and discovered one province in any or all of these places. Interesting. Okay, I have a choice here. So, uh, I don't need manpower and I don't need liberty desired my subjects. So I think the right move here is to take the national tax modifier, get a bunch of cash uh, up front, 244 ducats, as well as an additional 15% national tax modifier. A boop, we will take it. I also, I want to make Sind, I think I want to make Sind my vassal and then use them to eat up these other people. Now they're allied with Delhi. So if I declare on Delhi and make Sind a co-belligerent, I could probably take Delhi and then vassalize Sind and then use them to gobble up all this territory in here. So that might be what we do in the future. For now though, we're kind of just in holding formation. Uh, I don't really want to go on Hajj here, so... Gaining 10 prestige would be nice, although we're nowhere near... Oh, the Renaissance is here, boys! It's spreading! It's happening! It's over here, look! Look, it's beautiful! Yes, spread to me! Give me the Renaissance! We'll move towards mysticism, I can't really afford that money. I watch channels more for the people, not the content. Anyway, you could stream brown muffins and I'd watch because of sexy voice and aloof disposition. Am I aloof? Am I really aloof? Or am I aloof? -a? Am I cold and disheartened? Or am I... I don't, I don't remember what the word aloof means. <laughs> or am I a thing you used to wash yourself? What the hell? I have to Google aloof now. I know, I know what it means like in my head, but I need like an explanation. There we go. Cool. That was it. I was right. Cold and distant. Wonderful. We get a new madrasa. We have a bunch of monarch points saved up. You're not aloof, you're a goof. Got me. Got him. Lasuli, you're the last person I expected to be throwing shade here, okay? Don't make me don't make me mess up as I'm like playing here. All tabbing hurts me. Aloof is like distant and standoffish. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I think Cinnamon was perfectly right. Uh, let's see here. Great Sultan, we have finally managed to convert the heretics of Mogashtun. We're going to continue to convert here, even though we are getting... It's taking longer and longer. But we've basically... If we check the religion map mode, we've basically unified ourselves under the Sunni banner. Now, I know in modern day times, I believe this is actually a Shia. I believe the Shia, this is one of the Shia sections. I could be wrong. This is, this is like... Iran is like the homeland of the Shia nations, I think. I could be completely off base, though. 
that's just what my head tells me. Although the Shia, the Shia in the game mechanics for the Shia are actually way stronger than the ones for the Sunni. They get like shock damage and stuff. It's really powerful. Okay, we're gonna make another core here. Coring up my land. I'm coring up my land. Hi ho, my daddy yo. I'm coring up my land. So it looks like nobody really has admin tech eight. Yeah, it looks like everyone's just been like going hard. <laughs> I would really like to humiliate someone. That would feel really good. But I don't want to open up opportunities for the Ottomans to expand into Karakonyulu or whatever it's called. Yeah, we need to get rid of this um, modifier here. We're starting to fall really far down. So, uh, I think we don't need them. We don't need the man fire. Finally, we agree on something. <laughs> I don't think we need the, um, the manpower recovery speed here. So I'm tempted to just save up here and save up my points for when I can get tech a bit cheaper. Alternatively, I could invest heavily into this. Yep, I'll lose legitimacy. Ducats are worth a lot to me right now. I have so I have such a I have such a small income. Losing ducats hurts a lot. Aloof because he never stoops to my level of shenanigans. I'd have to be about two feet shorter to be able to stoop to your level. Got him. Manlet jokes. We got him for days. <laughs> um, am I getting full army tradition from forts? I'm not. I could do it one more fort. Deny the unity of being. Yeah, we're going to start moving towards legalism, I think. I think we made that decision a while ago. Man, I'm so upset that this guy has been my leader for 60 years. Nearly 40. Or he, He's 60 years old, but he's been my leader for nearly 40 years, is what I'm trying to say. Just die already. Gain prestige. I like the idea of gaining prestige. And I'll happily lose a little bit of cash. They insulted me. How dare they? Oh, we can take a Splendor. So which one do we take? So we have to have three objectives fulfilled. And then you can enact a Golden Era. And act like things never happen very quickly. What are you talking about? I, I'm i tempted to take either War Taxes. Transfer Subject. I think I'm going to take Claims Border Claims. And let's get some more Claims in Hormuz. So let's uh, fabricate a claim here. On this province. Fabricate a claim on Suhar. I want to take his Coastals preferably. No, I want to take his contiguous land. So these these four. So that's Zufra. And the other one is Maskalat. So now we have claims on a bunch of his territory. When does this claim run out? This claim runs out in 10 years. So we can probably get like one or two more claims before we need to declare war. See, he makes equipment, goes right back to min-maxing this menu game in the same breath. He's an animal. <laughs> uh... Don't try to don't try to slow down my momentum. Okay. We have ideas potentially. Yeah, not so not so interested in taking ideas. Again, I'm gonna go to speed five. Because I'm getting a pain in my ass waiting for this goddamn Renaissance to appear. Okay, you finally embraced it, so you're actually gonna spread it at a reasonable rate. Thank God, Jesus. I can get rid of this horrific 50% technology penalty. I can actually get some use out of my Diplo points. Uh, I think I'll take the inflation here. The military power is nice. We're drilling our armies, right? Yeah. Drill. Drill's going up. Zufra is famous for its crops. Is it opium? 
succotash? I have no idea what succotash is. You're making me look shit up now. Oh, it's maize and lima beans boiled together. Isn't lame maize just like grain? It's like wheat or something? W-H-E-A-T, not W-E-E-D. Smoke wheat every day. I make that joke all the time. Oh, man. The levy. Okay, I would lose loyalty with the Amirs. This would make them really loyal and would give me... I could probably extort them for something as well if I did this. It would hurt my national tax modifier. That costs way too much money. Um, I'm just going to accept that you guys are going to be disloyal and upset with me for a couple months. Jesus Christ, they're still influencing this nation for whatever reason. Maize is corn and it's North American. Cool. Zofran Succotash. Maize is corn and it's North American. Okay. Didn't like corn before it was like domesticated or like like when the when the settlers reached America, it wasn't corn like brown and kind of weird looking. Oh, here comes colonialism. Okay, a new institution has appeared. This one is colonialism and it originated over here in France so this one's going to take a while to spread as well but if we can get rid of the renaissance here in a reasonable amount of time we'll only have a mild tech penalty so what causes this to spread out of curiosity so nearby ports port capital of a country with a new world colonial nation okay interesting Interesting. So we're just getting the Renaissance as colonialism appeared. Hopefully, hopefully colonialism spreads a little bit quicker. I would really, really appreciate that. It does seem to be spreading a little bit quicker. Corn used to be the general word for grains, which might be what you're thinking of. It makes translating Latin and Greek a pain in the half. Corn was red and brown. You still have cultivars like that, and they're usually called Indian corn. Yeah, like the original sort of cultivar corn was like a different thing. It's corn, but people mostly use it for heirloom varieties. Uh, didn't the original version of corn have less um, less carbohydrates and more protein? I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I remember hearing about that. Could be talking out my ass, though. All right. Okay, we cored up Lahore. What did you call my mother? I said she is a Lahore. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we cored this up. We can't make it a state, though, because we have 17 states, so we need to upgrade our admin efficiency but we do have little old regular cores over here and that'll be nice corn is all colors and before industrial agriculture it looked all random and crazy yeah exactly it was kind of this weird like it was like it was like brown and red and i think there was some like kind of purplish versions as well uh let's see Okay, I can convert more provinces. This is probably going to be one of the last conversions that we get off for a while. God, where where is this institution? It's actually driving me nuts that I don't have it yet. It's finally spreading. Yeah, spare no expenses, get inflation. I want to improve relations. This guy's actually got pretty good relations with me, even though I've been completely like obliterating him. Oh, shoot. They discovered my thingy. Uh, who are you al allied with? You're allied with Najd and Aj Ajam. Ajam. Well, he still has some of our cores that we want to get back. So we're probably going to declare war on Hormuz here soon. Um, we have a lot of galleys. I'm hoping that's enough. What sort of navy does he have? Uh... see who's this guy this is the hormuz hormuz has one light ship 14 galleys damn it he has naval superiority i'd have to get i'd have to get military access through mushasha to kill him 
Mushasha will give me military access. Take on foreign debt. Let's see here. 10 per loan up to 200 at most. Oh my god. Okay, Welcome to corn chat, motherfuckers. Thank you so much, Cinnamon. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Corn is all colors before. I hope newer corn is higher in carbs and sugar. What we think of corn used to be specifically called sweet corn. Speaking of purple, carrots used to have a lot more variety. The orange cultivar was actually spread by the Dutch as a semi political statement. Those goddamn orange bastards. How dare they? This is corn chat, man. We, we're going to be talking about vegetables all night, all right? Vegetables are a very important topic of conversation for me, okay? Owing to the fact that I am a, a living potato. <laughs> uh, fine, okay. Timmer's opinion of trying to change by plus 10. That's fine. God. What sort of military are we looking at here? Uh, he has a military advantage. Okay, I think we said we were moving towards legalism here. Our spy was kicked out. Ooh, let's forge a claim then real quick. On Liwa. You want access here? I'll give you access if you want. I appreciate you, Cinnamon Beard. You're an awesome, awesome dude. My dude. Uh, insult against Ming. They've insulted us. Show these dogs superiority. Go away, Ming. Stop insulting me. Here, look. Ming. Your father smelled of elderberries. Where's the insult button? Here we go. There. I insulted them back. Give me five points in my power projection. Wait, are you even my rival? They're not even my rival. What the hell? I will insult the Mamluks. Mamluks. Send an insult. Boom. Oh, the Protestant Reformation is happening. Oh, things are going to get pretty crazy over in Europe soon. So the Protestants have appeared. And this is the center of Re Reformation over here. And things will start to uh, convert and spread. So right now, Europe is pretty much entirely Catholic. But the Reformation is going to change that. Don't insult the Ming. Where are you going to get your vases now? I don't want Ming vases. Screw them. So the unified Catholic world is about to undergo some serious issues. Although this does mean that the Age of Discovery is coming to a close here. And um, we will soon be in the Age of Reformation, I believe. Let's see here. Um, this age starts when all of the following is true. When Protestantism enabled and has been true for 120 months. So, wait, where's my core province that's like all this development? Huh. Multan. It's over here. The Age of Discovery is... Uh, the Age of Discovery is about to end. All splendor and abilities will be cleared and a new set of objectives will be available. Where the hell is the Renaissance, goddammit? It's almost here. Uh, see, the problem is I can't really declare war on anyone while I have this really bad tech problem. I don't know how these guys are tech 9. That's crazy to me. Yeah, I think we're going to just look inwards for a while. We play the play the safe development kind of game. No fancy vases for you, only pious halal wicker backs, baskets. Exactly. We don't we don't accept uh, haram um, vases. No matter how you dress them up, that they're like Ming or whatever. I would like another vassal, but I, I don't really know who to get. I think Sind is the target to become a vassal because he has the ability to expand a bit here. And that would be quite nice. Hormuz. Are you ready for war yet? 
Coruscant would come. Which is nice. I appreciate you, Coruscant. He does have a military advantage. I is this tech important? It is a lot of cavalry shock, actually. I can't fight this war without this cavalry shock ability. Ugh. Jesus Christ. 0 0.8 cavalry shock. That almost doubles the damage of your cavalry. In fact, he could declare war on me and do a lot of damage to me. So we're going to take it easy for a little bit. That's too important of a tech to, um, to go to war with a disadvantage in. The next, techs, the next techs are less important. But once we get to this one, we should be, we should be in pretty good shape. So, yeah, I think, I think we, again, again, we made the decision that we were going to move towards uh, legalism. So getting, getting 25 legalism here for loyalty in the Ulema would be quite nice. Could I pick up, could I pick up some uh, military support here? I could pick up a little bit. The dimmy here. I'm gonna take take a religious tax off you. You guys don't do anything for me. I'll ask for a contribution off these guys as well, so I have a bunch of money. And I'll seek your support, I think, so that I can demand administrative support without hurting myself, and then I can get another uh, couple of ideas here. And that'll give me cavalry combat ability, which is really nice. And if I get the next military tech, it'll make my cavalry unstoppable, especially if I can get the shock damage up here. Yearly corruption. Ooh, that would be amazing. Okay. Our army, our, our nation is in really good shape now. Our units are almost fully drilled, which gives them a lot of bonuses, mostly in... Uh, Damage dealt and damage received. Potatoes. Potaron Maxime just subscribed. Thank you very much. We're probably going to go here for another little bit. Diplomatic insult has worn off. How long do I have left to contest these cores? I have plenty of years to contest. My great sultan, Austria, started to influence Memogen. Okay. We can declare war. So how's the reformation coming? So a couple of provinces have been converted. This is going to get pretty awkward for uh, for Europe. Oh man, it converted over here too. Just wait until some of these uh, some of these countries start flipping. They'll get their own reformation centers. I'm back from washing my dog hair covered clothes. <laughs> oh man, ooh. The Habsburgish army was hired by Ansvak for 3.17 per month. Ooh, there's a great there's a great there's a civil war in the Great Horde. It used to be the Golden Horde, now it's the Great Horde. I feel like they've they've kind of they've kind of downgraded from that. Like soon it's going to be like the mediocre horde and it's going to be like the the girl next door horde or something and then it'll just be like, you know, the crumbling horde and then it'll be like the bad horde. But like I mean, once you're downgraded from the great or from golden to great. You know you know you're on a downward slope. Austria declared new war against Milan. Yep, that's fine. I really need I really need the Ottomans and these guys to go to war. Yeah, I want to go to war with these guys, but I can't go to war while I have a tech at disadvantage. It's too painful. It's too much. I need to wait for the institution to come. Speaking of colonialism, how's it spreading? It's actually spreading pretty reasonably quickly. The I've seen a better horde. Do you call this a horde horde? Exactly. <laughs> uh. Okay. Bam. Where's Bam? Is it over here? Where's Bam? I need to learn all these provinces because goddamn, I know nothing about these places. I know Europe much better. I've never really played over in this section of the map. Where's Bam? Bam? Hello? Where are you? Where the hell is Bam? 
Am I going to have to do find province? Ah, it's over here. That way, that's not it. Oh, it's over here. Um, what the hell was I going to do here? Shit, I don't, I don't remember why I was looking for it. Oh, well. All right, I have a bajillion Diplotech built up. But we don't want to spend it yet. How much would it cost me to embrace? I have to wait and see. Need more of my, my provinces to embrace it. Oh my god, it's painfully slow. Yeah, I'll take the tax modifier here. 10% is fine. Okay, I hit maximum monarch powers in Diplo. So I'm going to start spending a little bit on development. So definitely I think Kabul is a candidate here. North of Homeros. Yeah, I found it. It's bam, right in the middle. East of Wham, north of Thank You Ma'am. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is definitely worthwhile here. This will net me 0.13 monthly production as well as extra trade value on my gems. It will also give me local good produced and it will increase the loyalty of the merchant guilds. So I'm going to buy one here. Um, I'm going to buy another one here. And another one here. And then I'll buy one more here. I'll max it out almost at 10. So we spent some of our diplomatic power because we, we hit the maximum cap. And uh, now we should be making a decent amount more cash money. Where is Kabul? I know it's over here somewhere. There it is. I'm starting to learn where all the provinces are. So this is plus four supply limit, dice roll minus two, local development cost increased. So this is now producing how much per month? 8.9 ducats per month in production and making a lot of gems. Trade value is pretty good. Actually, speaking of trade value, uh, it might be, I think it would be worth, worth my while to take trade ideas here for the extra merchants. Because my empire is so huge already, I need merchants in like all of these nodes to get my my goods moving the way I want them to be moving towards Persia. Because Persia is where I'm collecting all my trade. And I can drive all my trade to Persia. In theory. I can drive all my trade to Persia. And then I could collect from here. I do need to move up here and get some of these guys up here to really control Pers the Persian trade node. But things are fine. Uh, still waiting for that goddamn renaissance, though. Oh, hell yeah. They got 75 in their spy network. Oh, the Ulema. Because my country got a little bit bigger, they demand more... Um, they demand more territory. Let's have a look at this screen. Um, let's give them... Yeah, I'll give them this cattle province over here. That'll be fine. I'll give them that little chunk of land. I don't have any. I don't have any provinces to give to the Dimi because I think they can only take provinces that belong to um, non-Muslim religions, like Christianity. If I ever get up here and stuff like that. Uh, merchant guilds. I think I've given all the cities I want to give away to the merchants, unless I have more trade provinces now. I don't think I do. So I'm happy with that. Alrighty. Okay, people are asking me for access. I will grant this access. Najd would buy Condottiori. Oh my god. Najd was deleted a while ago, but now Najd is kicking ass here. Oh, the Ottomans are at war with Aragon and Naples. Jesus. Okay, France is starting to get huge. Absolutely huge. Looks like it's trying to take back these provinces here. France, out of curiosity, what's your thing? Oh my god, France wants to conquer England. What else is going on over here? Let's check on Europe. 
Portugal hasn't explored any, hasn't conquered any more of Morocco. It looks like Portugal decided to go for the New World. We can't see that yet, but I have a feeling that's what they're doing. Okay, nice and big Timurids. What's our great power status like? Ugh, we're only sixth. We need to be bigger. We need to be bigger and better. Age of Discovery is ending in 102 months. That's to be expected. Let's go up to a higher speed. Aha, I can now invest in a new idea. If I invest in this, it will make my future military techs cheaper. By a very small amount. It would be nice to get this land maintenance modifier. We'll hold off for now though. Go France, hell yeah. France is doing a good job in my opinion. Okay, we're just kind of churning through because we're really, again, it's this, it's this renaissance thing, man. It's holding me back so bad. If I can get it embraced, I won't take such a huge penalty to my tech. Okay, we'll gain five legitimacy here. I need to keep spreading to the west. I need to get closer to these uh, goddamn things. Okay, Ajam's actually been occupied by someone. Might be a good time to declare the war on Hormuz. Okay, I think we made the choice again that we were going toward legalism, and we're almost there. That'll give me... Once we start getting legalism, it'll make my technology cheaper. And we'll start getting more tax and manpower. How is my leader not dead? He's 71. This man has lived to 71 in 1512. Jesus Christ. Okay, people are laughing at my army. Let them laugh. It's fine. I'm like so annoyed. Royal marriage ended here. You can take that. Is there, is there things I can do to speed this up? Like, it's really, it's so painful to wait for this goddamn institution spread. <laughs> oh my god. It's finally, it's finally starting to spread here. At long last. One of my 200 provinces is getting the renaissance. You know what that means. Go in here. Is this not a state? This is my one province that doesn't count as a state and I can't enact uh, edicts in. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll take your royal marriage. You're my vassal. Uh, let's see. You guys, surely, surely you guys have a lower mil tech than me. No, these all guys are all pretty high mil tech. Alright, I guess it's time to declare war on the Uzbeks then just to give us something to do because otherwise we're just sitting on manpower. Okay, do we need to call in allies? I don't think we do. What's the supply limit out here like? It's pretty rough. We should be fine though. We've got fully drilled armies. We'll move our troops out there. We'll slow down time a little. I could obviously, obviously I could get more troops, but I don't think I need them right now. Um, yeah, I think we're going to move. Oh, I don't want to lose the prestige, though. I'm going to take the prestige. Prestige is important to me here. I need to keep my prestige high. It, uh, it makes me feel good. No, really, it gives my army, it helps my armies and stuff. Arrest their ambassador. Can we build any buildings? Is it worth our while? Are we saving to embrace the Renaissance? I think we're saving. We could get a little bit of stuff in here. Ah, uh, you know what? I should get these two. They're worth it. They do pay themselves off relatively quickly. Okay, let's get the war declared. I'm going to take our cores. 
Oh, the Great Horde will accept now. Great Horde? Come on. You, were, you weren't going to accept there a minute ago. Wait, what? How is this not a core anymore? Oh, I guess some nations got released. So we lost a couple of cores over here. It's not the end of the world. Uh, he lost a war and lost his provinces. And that hurt my cores, I guess. Oh well. We got most of the one we got most of the cores that matter. So it's time to start spreading to the north. Uh Great Horde, can you be not coming into the war, please? Can you be please taking more negative penalties? Okay, I think we might be able to take them on. What what is your army size here? Let me check the ledger. Uh We'll go by country name, G for Great Horde. Am I crazy or is his name not there? Oh, I'm, I'm coming from the top. Whoops. So the Great Horde actually doesn't have an army right now. That's great. Excellent. Uh, no guy, what about you? Oh no, that was navies, armies. By name. Great Horde has 10,000 troops and pretty low manpower and some mercenaries. What about No Guy? Where's No Guy? N. N for No Guy. Where are you at? No Guy? Is he not. Am I crazy or is there no one? Oh, here it is. Okay, Noga is on my side. Um, what about Uzbek? How much army do you have, Uzbek? They have a really high force limit. Uh, I'm actually not even sure I could win this war if I were to declare it. If the Great Horde wouldn't come, then it would be a yes, but um, with these other people, it's, it's not clear. So, we'll just come back and we'll, we'll drill. We'll drill in our territory. Is this terrain safe? Yep. All right. Ooh, max promoted cultures. That's actually going to be helpful here because we do have a lot of cultures that we could uh, we could promote. We could promote, in particular, Afghan here would be good to promote. So I'm looking forward to taking that one. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Institutions, man. We're finally getting them, but they're they're slow. Okay, I need to improve relations with you. I need you to be friendly. You're threatened for some reason. I'm a heretic. Oh my god, do you know how happy I am that my leader died? Do you know how happy I am? Where are these coming up? Bandar? Make your way down to Bandar. You have no idea how happy I am that my um that my leader died. He was absolute trash. This leader isn't very good either. And the legitimacy here is pretty awful. Yeah, we'll take a royal marriage from the Ottomans. We want to get our we want to get our general in in place before we click this pretender rebel thing because we want to be the defender. Um, let's have a look. What are we What are we at? I think we're going to move towards legalism here. So this is going to be tolerance of the true faith as well as yearly corruption. 
So let's be let's go towards legalism. That'll give me more money. And we can raise these pretenders in a second. And there they are. Uh, all Uzbek provinces in the Timurids receive plus two unrest for five years and all Baluchi pro provinces lose unrest. Okay. We won. We have national decisions. So let's take more legalism, extra prestige, national unrest. I'm not going to take state firearm regiments yet. Maybe later when I'm making more money. Right now, my cash flow is a bit weak. Who are you allied with? Najid and Ajam. Okay, I think this is the time to declare the war because I can probably get access through these guys. Oh my god, looks like these guys spread like hell. Yep, I suppose I suppose now's a good time as any to get a war declared. On these guys. Let's get you down here. You're going to go there. You're going to make your way over here so that you can invade around this way. Oh, actually, you're going to go deal with Ajam. And you're going to hold this, this province here. What is he at? He's at 8 Diplo or 8 Miltech. So he's weak enough at this point that I feel comfortable declaring this war. Previously, I didn't, but now I do. Let's get more claims just to piss him off. And then we will pull back this guy. All these stuff. Okay, we're going to declare war here. Khorasan will answer the call to war, which is fine. I could use them. Najd and Ajam will answer the call. I'm going to be taking Hormuz. I'll call them. Yeah, I'll call I'll call them that war. I may as well. Alright. Pounce on them. They weren't ready for it. Let's go down to a lower speed here while we're at war. So part of the reason I'm declaring this war here is because I just want to push my push my um, empire closer towards these goddamn uh, goddamn things. Looks like Ajam picked up a um, Condottiori from these guys. They rented out their army. You guys are going to hang out there. I could become the defender of the faith. Would make my technology costs more. Would give me morale of armies, would give me war exhaustion, would give me prestige. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll do it. Jesus, how many months are left here? A lot. Alright. Diplomatic technology. So you're thinking the Ottomans as your first big target? Dude, the Ottomans are my ally. We're going to like unite and create super Islam. I'm going to, he's going to have, he's going to have the left side of the world. And I'm going to have the right side of the world. And we're going to be best buddies. Me and the Ottomans forever. I have enough favors with them. If I increase their trust... My first big target is these Karakonlu guys. I think I want this whole gulf area. I want control of this gulf. What's the trade map look like? Yeah, I want control of the gulf. 
and then I want up until here. So if I were to, if I'm just telling the AI what I want, I want these provinces. So the AI will know then. And I also want up to here. Right, these are the ones I want. Let me see, let me make sure I'm doing this right, because I don't want to... Yeah, all these. War ally owns it. Um, what else? What do the Ottomans want? Trade map mode? And I want these ones as well. Okay, these are pretty much all the provinces over here that I want. I don't want. I don't even care about Basra too much. The Ottomans can have Basra. We could probably get a nice little attack on these guys. There we go. We caught them off guard. Nice. We caught them off guard, and we actually got a kill on them. How many boats are floating around out here? Oh, he lost his navy. Oh my god, that's amazing. Let's get a siege going on Hormuz then. You're not taking too much siege damage. Um, I'm just going to detach a siege here and stand in the province beside it. And then do a similar thing here. Catch a siege, move across the water. Okay, he has cannons, and cannons aren't very good at fighting yet, so I'm not too scared about that. Okay, I lost a military leader. That kind of hurts a lot. Let's pick up a new one. Okay, he's pretty good. You may as well drill that army. Oh, wake up. Okay, we captured a province here. That's good. We're getting a siege going. The siege will take some time. How's the siege over here going? Oh my god. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I need to go into the message settings. War. Uh, when a nation attacks combat. No, combat. I need a, one, of, one of my armies. Yeah, I need a, I need a pop-up. Yeah, I need I need a pop up when that happens. I can't just let that be. Uh, I can't just let when that ha when that happens. That can't just be something that goes without me seeing it. As my empire gets bigger, I'm gonna have a harder and harder time keeping track of those things. I just lost three troops for nothing, simply because I didn't have my message settings correct. But yeah, now when my forces are engaged, I'll get a pop up. So that's useful. Ooh, master at arms, very good. Um, you have five cavalry. That's too many. I'll get you a new set of troops there. Devastation. Oof. Pretty rough. Okay. They can do things on their own. Uh, which province is this? This is Abar, Abarka, what have you got? Ah, it doesn't matter which one I pick. Ah, give me manpower, why not? Okay, we got the trade protection, Casas Belly. All right. We've gotten through about 30 years here. Restored all these units. 
Okay, we improved relations with Mushasha. That should have helped with the spread of the institution, maybe? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. It didn't help at all. The positive stability is helping, at least. Am I getting any prosperity? I have a little bit of prosperity. Not over here, though, because there's devastation. Jesus, we still have devastation over here. Oh, it's the, the blockade. Ouch. We're getting some prosperity in here. And when we get it, when we get the prosperity, the uh, extra goods produced is really nice. Sadly, my leader is total garbage. Okay, the winter is actually hurting you a lot. Okay, there's a big stack over there. Looks like they're going to go to try to take one of my forts, maybe. I think they can sneak through here and go pretty much anywhere, though. It's when they start attacking a fort, that's when I'm going to, like, peel off and maybe consider attacking them. Oh my god, what's happening? Stop. God is good. Okay, there's a nice little bit of positive stability. Yeah, okay, so they're standing in one of these tiles. We only have a little bit less than them, and they're going to take the mountain penalty. They are ahead of me in tech, though. And that's super no bueno. And they have cannons, which is making that harder too. Oh my god, I didn't get a I didn't get a I didn't get a notification. Wait, what? I thought I set the message settings. Yeah, what did it not pop up? It's supposed to pop up and, and, and pause the game. Did I just click off it really click not not looking? No, oh, maybe I did. Well, rip. I'll kill here again. Okay, we finally got the siege over with. Let's reunite these armies and then go after this guy. And let's once again get more units over there. I'm gonna be probably gonna be knocking this off here soon. I'm getting pretty tired. I've been I, I think I this is like eight hours of streaming today that I've done. Okay, he's taking negative penalties. He does get bonuses, so this is a 3 versus a 4. Okay, he's at negative 1, I'm at 0. So I should do more damage than him. 38 to his 70. He did 38 to me, I did 70 to him. Okay, he rolled pretty good here. It's pretty, pretty even though. Okay, he rolled amazingly here. Thankfully, the fire phase isn't super painful at this stage in the game. Where is he retreating to? Okay, our truce with Punjab has ended. I'm just going to leave this guy on this tile because I'm getting tired of uh, those pop-ups not showing properly or whatever is happening. Okay, let's unsiege these to uh, stop getting devastation here because the devastation is brutal. Oh my god, the renaissance is coming. How's colonialism? France has it now, fully. What do you get for that one?
Oh, you don't get any special. You don't get anything special for being the birthplace of colonialism. That's kind of sad. Oh well. Peace offer from Najd. I will take peace. Let me have a look here. Sue for peace. Give me all your money. Oh, actually, I can make you my vassal. What kind of cores do you have over here? You have really good cores and claims. Ooh, I think I'm going to make them my vassal. Don't I completely occupy you? There's one province I don't have. Yeah, I think we're going to vassalize Najd. I think that's a right move here. Protestantism has been entrenched. Ooh, the demand for fish is plummeting. So Protestantism is happening. Oh my god, there's three centers of reformation over here. Oh my god. That's going to be a very strong Northern Europe um, Protestantism. Okay, let's move the troops out. We want to take over. We want to um, occupy this. We converted heretics. We're not looking for peace yet. Uh, I don't think we're going to bother converting right now. We don't have enough uh, religious power, and we have one hundred. We have over a hundred percent religious unity, so I'm not too worried about it anyway. Hormuz, they now control the province, so they took this back. So sadly, my ally is probably going to take a lot of hits here. This is my vassal, though. Oh, he's actually doing really well. It looks like he lost and retreated. My ports are blockaded. Let's see if we can catch some of these boats out. Go there, conquer Najd. I want to take Najd underneath my wing as a vassal. I think that's the right move, especially since my Civ is re does really well with vassals. And having him over here will be great. Oh no, I don't want to declare war. I want to occupy this province. I'll speed things up a little. Okay, and then I will talk to you. You, Najd. You need to become my vassal. So soon. Oh, I'm being attacked up here. I'm losing. Somehow I'm losing up there. Even though I have more morale and I'm rolling higher. Look at these rolls he's pulling out of his ass. Okay, there we go. This is more like it. Okay, there we smashed them. I didn't get a pop-up for that. Again. That's really annoying that I'm not getting pop-ups for that properly. The Age of Discovery is almost over. No, I want you to be my vassal. They'll almost accept. How have I not conquered this? Jesus. It's cost me manpower and gold everywhere. Although, somehow I'm still making money. Don't ask me how. Even though my expenses are huge, I guess my income is just that good now. Okay, we want to go fight them. Oh, 
that's my alarm telling me that my my um my my stream will end here soon. Ooh, I should be able to catch them here. If I can catch this army, I should be able to get Najd to surrender. It's really, really close. Three more reasons. That's all we need. Okay, we're going to catch him. Is he really going to get away? Okay, get over there. Okay, nudged. Two more reasons. That's all we need. We need two more reasons. Okay, what's going on over here? It looks like we've got a siege happening and they want to try and prevent it. If we can cut these guys off. cut them off here and here they won't have any choice but to go through us yeah so who gets there first they get there on the 20th we would get there on the 20th okay nudged will you peace me nudged two more reasons so we just need to wait a couple of months aha so they took they took the negative penalty for attacking Nice one. Let's see if we can chase them down. Right. We took them out. Najd, come on. Two more reasons. That's all we need. Oh, one more reason. Go disrupt this. Okay. Uh, I want to de-siege this. Let's talk to Ajam. Uh, what's my diplomatic slots looking like here? I've got room for one more. Okay, so I'm just going to annex Ajam. Give me all the monies. So I'm talking directly to Ajam. I'll take these two core provinces of mine. Boom. These are now mine. Excellent. 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 So we have unified the lands of Timurlane, Tamerlane, more or less. There's like a little bit more work to do. But, you know, we're 80% of the way there. I need to catch these guys off. Excellent, I caught them. Caught them in the desert. Now, Najd, will you accept my peace? No, you won't. Even though I have you fully occupied, Najd, you won't become my vassal. Oh, there we go. And you know what? Now you'll give me money too. No. Become my vassal. So Najd will be my vassal. And they're going to be very useful for expansion later. If I check the diplomatic mode, see all their cores here? We'll be able to contest those cores for Najd. And expand them out and then eventually gobble them up. But for now, we've got plenty of time to contest these. You've actually started fabricating claims, which is good, because we can start um, taking these off these guys. Although, um, there's all this sort of shenanigans going on. Let's kind of figure out how we're going to do this, because power blocks are starting to appear. Okay, how do you feel? About giving me your territory. 
You would give me the war goal. I could just take the war goal and like a bunch of money off you. Maybe war reps. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'll take one province. I got a, I got an advance home. Put myself in a good position. I take this province. I get a little bit more naval room. Excellent. Take that nice province. Happy days. Get a bunch of money. And uh, we have a new vassal. That's going to give us some force limit. I'm going to assign... Uh, one of my thingies to own subjects and neighbors for now. I don't really have a use for a diplomat right now. I'm not planning on doing any more wars for a little bit of time. Okay, finally, come on. It's so close. It's so close to being in my in my territory. Ooh. So the growth of cities attracts serfs. The Amirs gain 10 loyalty. Or do I want the base tax? Increased serfdom. This would hurt me for 20 years. Hurt my morale for 20 years. 20 years of morale. There's no way. I have to take... I just have to take the base tax moving. Ah, the Iberian wedding... The Iberian wedding... The Iberian wedding finally happened. Interesting. Interesting. Leinster is still going strong here. Oh, they're allied with France. No wonder England can't take them. Oh my god, France has taken England. The Ottomans are up here. What are the Ottomans doing in England? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay. Ah, oh, let's see. Yeah, I'll give you military access. Who are you at war with? Oh, you're not at war with anyone. You just want military access. Hormuz lacks a core. Yeah, I'll spend the money on that. Oh my god, where is this institution? It's finally spreading really, really slowly. Meanwhile, I'm falling further and further behind in tech. Najd is disloyal because they have a better Diplo tech than me, mostly. Um, and my diplomatic reputation is pretty poor right now. Their opinion of me is pretty terrible. Yeah, I'm going to place one of my people on their throne. And then I'm going to uh, grab one of my diplomats here, whoever you are. And I'll just say uh, improve relations with this guy just to get him nice and friendly with me. Make sure Najd knows who's boss. Oh my god, did my troops really get trapped over here? Oh, that's horrific. Can I get... Can I get military access? We lost the trade. Okay, thank you for the military access. Royal wedding from the Ottomans. Okay, we're going to try and make them friendlier. Karakonlu are fabricating claims on me. That's bad news. That means they're looking to declare war on me. Conquer Mesopotamia. I guess that is kind of technically more his kind of territory. I may I may cede that. I may cede that to him and see if he can just take it. Uh, convert provinces to Sunni. I'm not interested in converting anymore. I have so much religious unity that I feel perfectly safe the way I am. Uh, do we take the tech here? I think we still wait. We need to do more development. K 
Okay, I'll do a point in Tehran. An admin point in here, and then a point in... Zero point eleven in Herat. So I'll spend a bit in there. Just to keep my develop my, my points low. Oi, 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 oi. Where the hell is this thingy? What's the next uh, institution after this? The printing press. Let's say we need to curb such excess. I think we want to gain. So this is Sava. Who will lose here? Uh, I don't want to lose loyalty with the Merchant's Guild. Can I boost the loyalty of the Merchant's Guild here? Is that an option here? Yeah, I can. So I'll lose loyalty with the Merchant's Guild. Sava. And does it come under control of someone? What's the base tax in here? It only produces grain, so I'll take base tax. That'll piss off the Merchant's Guild. Then I'll go in here and I'll tell them, here's your Monopoly Charters, okay. I'll talk to the Dimmy. I'll get a religious tax off them soon. I'm gonna call a Diet and demand military support off these guys. Whoa. I did the wrong one. I didn't mean to grant I didn't mean to grant a generalship. I mean I did it now, so like whatever, it's done. But now I'm gonna get a disaster. Yeah, I'm getting the aristocratic coup. So I'm probably gonna have to revoke one of their provinces. Which uh, is not ideal. Too many diplomatic relations. Let's clear out this um, military access. We have so much money now. I feel really good about that. Nothing really to build, however. Lahore is a good spot, actually. I'm going to build one in Lahore. Anything over five trade power is reasonable. Uh, 800 manpower in Sultania. I think that's a reasonable place to build one. Anywhere that's like 500 is a good place to build them. Base tax. Plenty of places to build good base tax buildings in. We're not quite there yet. God, I just need... I need the Renaissance. To spread to me so I can embrace it. But I tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to call this an end to the stream, though, because uh, I've been going here for a while. I did like eight hours of streaming today, which is way more than I would normally do. I would normally do like three or four. We've been going for a long ass time. So we'll, uh, we'll wrap this bad boy up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all very much. Let's save the game. This is Timurid Stream 2. Make sure we keep that in. We got through nearly 100 years today. And uh, the game... Uh, what, what is the timeline? What's the EU4 timeline again? It's... Uh, yeah, we've only got like... We've only got about another 300 years left in the game. Which is, if we get through... If we get through nearly 100 years in 8 hours... So there's another like 24 hours in this campaign of streaming. We can get through that pretty quick. Let's exit the menu. Uh, exit game. Anyway, I appreciate you guys showing up and watching. It means a lot. Anyway, 
I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.